Fuck you, Baltimore! If you're dumb enough to buy a new car this weekend, you're a big enough schmuck to come to Big Bill Hell's car. Bad deal. Cars that break down. Thieves. If you think you're gonna find a bargain at Big Bill, you can kiss my ass. It's our belief that you're such a stupid motherfucker. You'll fall for this bullshit. Guaranteed. If you find a better deal, shove it up your ugly ass. You heard us right. Shove it up your ugly ass. Bring your tray. Bring your tire. Bring your wife. We'll fuck her. That's right, we'll fuck your wife. Because at Big Bill Hell, you're fucked six ways from Sunday. Take a hike to Big Bill Hell. Home of challenge pissing. That's right, challenge pissing. How does it work? If you can piss six feet in the air straight up and not get wet, you get no down payment. Don't wait. Don't delay. Don't fuck with us or we'll rip your nuts off. Only at Big Bill Hell. The only dealer that tells you to fuck off. Hurry up, asshole. This event ends the minute after you write us a check. And it better not bounce or you're a dead motherfucker. Go to hell. Big Bill Hell's car. All the more filthiest. And exclusive home of the meanest sons of bitches in the state of Maryland. Guaranteed.
Fuck you, Baltimore! If you're dumb enough to buy a new car this weekend, you're a big enough schmuck to come to Big Bill Hell's car. Bad deal. Cars that break down. Thieves. If you think you're gonna find a bargain at Big Bill, you can kiss my ass. It's our belief that you're such a stupid motherfucker. You'll fall for this bullshit. Guaranteed. If you find a better deal, shove it up your ugly ass. You heard us right. Shove it up your ugly ass. Bring your tray. Bring your tire. Bring your wife. We'll fuck her. That's right, we'll fuck your wife. Because at Big Bill Hell, you're fucked six ways from Sunday. Take a hike to Big Bill Hell. Home of challenge pissing. That's right, challenge pissing. How does it work? If you can piss six feet in the air straight up and not get wet, you get no down payment. Don't wait. Don't delay. Don't fuck with us or we'll rip your nuts off. Only at Big Bill Hell. The only dealer that tells you to fuck off. Hurry up, asshole. This event ends the minute after you write us a check. And it better not bounce or you're a dead motherfucker. Go to hell. Big Bill Hell's car. All the more filthiest. And exclusive home of the meanest sons of bitches in the state of Maryland. Guaranteed.
Fuck you, Baltimore! If you're dumb enough to buy a new car this weekend, you're a big enough schmuck to come to Big Bill Hell's car. Bad deal. Cars that break down. Thieves. If you think you're gonna find a bargain at Big Bill, you can kiss my ass. It's our belief that you're such a stupid motherfucker. You'll fall for this bullshit. Guaranteed. If you find a better deal, shove it up your ugly ass. You heard us right. Shove it up your ugly ass. Bring your tray. Bring your title. Bring your wife. We'll fuck her. That's right, we'll fuck your wife. Because at Big Bill Hell, you're fucked six ways from Sunday. Take a hike to Big Bill Hell. Home of challenge pissing. That's right, challenge pissing. How does it work? If you can piss six feet in the air straight up and not get wet, you get no down payment. Don't wait. Don't delay. Don't fuck with us or we'll rip your nuts off. Only at Big Bill Hell. The only dealer that tells you to fuck off. Hurry up, asshole. This event ends the minute after you write us a check. And it better not bounce or you're a dead motherfucker. Go to hell. Big Bill Hell's car. All the more filthiest. And exclusive home of the meanest sons of bitches in the state of Maryland. Guaranteed. Hey everybody, how's it going? Hey, uh, Kuko's not here yet. Kuko's not here right now. Um, he will be here in a few minutes. Oh, well, that's not very good that we just have the coconut ball uh, thing in the bell. I'll, I'll move that. Hold on. Always another little disaster. Always another, another little thing here uh, whenever we're doing the goodly draw stream. But don't worry. Don't, don't, don't delay. Don't rip us off. Uh... How's everybody doing tonight? How's everybody doing? Oh, shit. Come here. Come here, you. Oh, here we go. You're getting... Oh, it was covering up the wonderful uh, Luigi placeholder thing there. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that... Uh, look, Luigi, he's so excited to play Mario Kart Double Dash. And I'm excited, too. I'm very excited to play some Double Dash, to play some wonderful Star and Speculation. Hi, you guys. Hello, Star. Oh boy, let me tell you, uh, it was really hard getting that getting that multiplayer set up in the Dolphin, getting the the window set up. Apparently, I had downloaded the wrong version of Dolphin, and Kuko had a completely different version of Dolphin. So I had to like, oh, actually, that's not even what it was. Uh, you know that thing that'll happen when you're trying to figure out a technical issue, and you do. Four or five different things, you know, despite the fact it should be three easy steps. You end up being like, all right, well, I fucked up one of the steps. Which which one of the easy steps did I fuck up? And you try four or five different things. They all fail. If anything, they make shit worse, the things you try. So then you, you go back in and you try more things. And then it turns out the thing that you actually had to do was the simplest fucking thing in the world. Like, oh, it turns out the computer's not turned on. Yeah, that's basically what it was like trying to set up multiplayer uh, beforehand on the stream. But, you know, everything's good now. I think everything... Well, everything's good other than the fact that the Dolphin, uh, with the settings we put on it, uh, no longer plays uh, sound anymore. So you're going to be listening to the, the musical stylings of the Coconut Ball theme from Mario Kart Wii. Even though this isn't a this isn't a Wii game we're playing, it's a GameCube game. But that's okay, you know that's all right. Uh, shit happens. 
Let me make sure I'm not, uh, let me, let me, oh yeah, let me silence those pesky notifications here. There we go. There you go. Okay, Cuckoo's ready. I'm going to put him on the phone here. Cuckoo, you're live. I just yeah. want you to know you're live. How you doing? Oh, we're live? Yeah, oh, yeah we're doing good, actually. Yeah. I started the stream, you know, it's been, uh, it, it was 10 minutes, so I just said, you know what, fuck it, I'll go in, I'll talk to some people, yeah. I'll say hi. Yeah, sure, also hi everybody. Yeah, I was telling them about the setup and how much of a nightmare the setup was, and how it was the dumbest thing. Like, because we were, we were having to, like, download and re-download things, and then what it actually turned out was... Like, the solution to our problem was the dumbest thing in the world. You you want to talk about that a little bit? Oh, yeah, it turns out he just didn't path his disk correctly. Yeah, no. There's a little thing that says you can put... Like, I'm used to playing Dolphin. I'll, I'll hit open, and then I'll go into the downloads, and I'll fish out the the emulators that I that I have. You know, I'll, I'll just, like... I'll click on the games manually through the folders, but what you can actually do is you there's a, there's a big blank thing... There's a big blank screen where it says, put the games here. And I never put the games there. So yeah, that caused that's not a suggestion. That's a, that's a, that's a <laughs> thing to unlock the full functionality. Oh, it's not a suggestion. Well, it was a suggestion to old goodly draws, wasn't it? All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was a suggestion to you. Yeah, if Kuko doesn't start speaking, I'm going to put six holes in my drive. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Oh, uh, you had to wait a little bit. You're really, you know, Mushroom's a little bit angry. Mario Kart Wii? Wii? I thought this was supposed to be Double Dash stream. This is kind of a shame you are... What kind of a shame are you running here, Goodly? Mushroom is, is going to come to our house and skin us alive. He's going to skin you alive. He's not going to skin me, though. Well, why is he going to skin me alive? I don't want to be skinned alive. I want to have my skin. I like my skin. You don't need it. Don't just be like Skack Jell Skack Jellington, Jack oh, Skellington. You. I do like Jack. I I do like Nickelodeon Jack Skellington. He's a great guy. It's my favorite movie. All right, you crazy guy. So are we gonna? Are we gonna set are up we gonna this? Gonna fuck or what? Yeah. Are we gonna? Hot steamy <clears throat> sex live on stream, for all sure. to see. Uh, it's gonna be. It's. The net play session is still going to be called uh, stream. Oh, yeah. The password will be Kuko, just all lowercase. Yeah, when we were yeah. setting it up, I was there was a little <laughs> little chat. There was a little group chat. And I was saying some very spicy things to Kuko in the group chat. Okay. So then I look for... Uh, I look in the... This is the weird thing, is that you can, you can yeah. invite somebody... <clears throat> through discord but for some reason you have to like like the invite will be on the the pc the mobile discord and then you'll have to like bring up the desktop version of discord and then that's how you actually fucking play the thing i don't know technology is just a mystery to me like i said i had to download a bunch of shit and then re-download it and then undownload i got five different versions of dolphin on my desktop right now, so the stream is probably going to crash. You know. Yeah, but... I'm going to actually turn up the buffer. Yeah. It is what it is. Joey T. Raccoon says, "I'm about to blow." I believe. Well, actually, I believe he says, "I'm about to blow." Is what he means. I'm about to blow. Yeah. It... Just check it on buffer stuff. Squabbly says, "If you don't start the game right now, I'm going to rip out my fingernails." He's going to rip out his fucking fingernails. You feel Welcome, about that? I would never skin you alive. I will knock down all the hmm. load-bearing walls in your house, though. Oh, that's not very... That's not very nice. I was going to say. Hmm. This is media file, too. What is that? That's making noise. I don't know what the fuck that is. Oh, it's Coconut Mall. Okay. Can you hear Coconut Mall faintly in the background, guys? That's what you're supposed to be hearing. I hope it's not too, uh, you know, loud or too On a quiet. On hour loop. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, did I hit loop? I, I gotta make sure I hit fucking loop. Hold on. Oh, it's looping. Oh, don't worry. It's looping. You got coconut mold. Yeah. 
I'm we just gonna... don't actually play. We just blare coconut mall at night. <laughs> we, just, we never we, do anything. We're just having a, a conversation, the usual conversation we have in the Discord. Say a bunch of crazy shit. And this coconut like, mall. Nobody could hear any of it though because coconut mall is louder than the both of us. It's just like. Oh, 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 so not Mario indicative. Kart have you played? I played all of them. I think I played. Uh, I don't think I played the original one actually. I played sixty four. Super 64. Mario Kart's really good. I played sixty four. I played uh, GameCube. <laughs> I played Game Boy. I didn't really like the Game Boy. I feel like the Game Boy one is more in style of Super Mario Kart, but it just felt a little bit. I don't know, restrictive. The DS one. Oh, I love the DS. <laughs> we one. played the shit out of the DS one. No, yeah, it was great because you could play it in the in the fucking car. You could play it in the park. You didn't There's need a mission cartridge. mode. There was yeah. a battle mode that didn't suck. Yeah. It was great. And if you were the one person who didn't have a copy of uh, Mario Kart, you had to play as the shy guy. Which, you know, honestly, I yeah. feel like and that I was cool. Honestly, that should have just been a character. I'm glad that they put him in 8. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I played the DS one. I played the Wii. I played uh, the one on the Switch. And that's about it for the Mario Kart. So pretty much that's all just of eight them. again. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I said the Wii. I meant the Wii U. Mario Kart 8. I didn't play the one on the Switch. No, I didn't buy that. Yeah, so I missed really out on the remake. Can I have a copy well, it's not of? It's a remake. Uh, it was just a re-release. Yeah. Can I see the? Can you send me the big fat invite, please? Oh wait, maybe I, I should look. Send that out. Because the the last time you did it, like we, we were yeah. we were in the VC and you were just going. Oh yeah, I guess. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All right. This is going to be good. This is going to be a great big uh, thing here. I'm gonna join. Did I join? All right. Yep, you joined. I okay, see you good. In the, okay. Out right there. And you didn't fuck with any of the settings, really? Yeah, I, I didn't just play got it as smooth as possible. Yeah, 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 I did. I didn't play with any of them. Okay, and now hopefully, hopefully, if, if everything goes according to plan, I will see a new screen booting up. Okay, I'm going to hit start. Now in the little chat, I'm gonna ask. And I'll let you. And I'll let you fuck around with the stuff in the options menu while you're. Yeah. In the thing before we start playing. Oh no, I'm not gonna touch anything. I am aware of the risks and want to continue. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. I can see the screen. All right. Now I'm gonna go delicately into Streamlabs and I'm gonna make sure that the game capture is on. Game capture configure. Oh, thank fuck. Okay. 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 And oh, I'm good gonna... thing I turned on the frame buffer. Good. I'm gonna get rid of. What is this here? What am I going to get rid of? Chat box, table, smiley face, star, green scale, enjoy it. Luigi. Okay, let's get rid of Luigi. Let's get rid of Coconut Mall. Oh, uh, here, here we go. I wonder if I need to resize any of this. Oh, wait a minute. Game capture. Do I need to resize? I'll resize a little. I guess I'll do a little bit of resizing here. Oh, Take your time. I'm the man in control anyways. Okay, yeah, you're the man. I don't like being in control. I don't like not being in control. What is this? You're, you're, I'm... Don't I'm, worry, there's... Oh, don't worry, there's what? No, don't worry, there's nothing you can do for player expression in Double Dash. Okay. Can't, like, draw, like, the N-word or something. Oh, no, I wouldn't want to do that. Why would I want to do that? So we'll do some versus races, and we'll play around a little bit in battle mode, and then we'll do yeah. the all-cup tour and co-op. Yeah, yeah. I want to do some – yeah, that's the thing is you're like, oh, we're going to do co-op. I, I don't want to do co-op. I want to race against you. I'm probably going to lose. Yeah, no, but then we'll do, we'll do co-op afterwards. We're going to shop all the multiplayer modes. You can hear it. Okay, so Mushroom. What can Mushroom hear? You had a Wii U lame, says Star in speculation. You know, once again, Star is... I had a Wii U too. You know, again, I, I would be more angry if it weren't more accurate. You know, Star is cruel but fair. Yeah, cruel but fair. She's kind, but she's cruel, but also she's fair when she's cruel. So it's okay. By the way, this app, this menu theme's a banger. It's probably my favorite of the... Yeah, the menu Maybe next theme. to the DS one. The menu, really good. the menu theme that nobody can hear because uh, my settings are – I haven't figured out how to get the volume working. You can look it up on YouTube. They can – I'll look it up later. 
It's going to be something fucking stupid. It's going to be something completely brand. Because that's the thing is there's always something. Whenever with setups like this, it's like, oh, you got the game working completely well. Oh, but uh, all the characters look blue for some reason. Grand picks. Do grand picks. What are you doing? Clicking around. Uh, no, it's it's a versus race so that way we don't have to worry about like CPUs. Okay. Do you want to play on 150cc or 100cc? I'll do 100. Do you want to... 100, because I, you know, I'm a little bit 100. new. Okay. I'm a little rusty. I'll play as King Boo, and then I'll play as Waluigi. Sneaky and stealthy. Yeah, I like this little card. So when you're charging up, when you're charging up for the uh, the cart, I'm gonna hit do... random. I'm gonna do the button combo for random. Okay. Yeah. Now, when you uh, at the beginning of this, do you just hold on to A? No, you tap it. It's not like most other Mario Kart. Oh, jeez. Like okay. That. Oh, look at that. Wow, and that's player one, and I'm player two. Wow. He's player one, I'm player two. I'll do my best uh, to fucking defeat you. Oh, no. I will fucking destroy you, Goodweed Draws. You will die today. Oh, this is the city layout. This is a very kind of fun city layout. Yeah, they had the best city layouts in Double yeah. Dash. This game fucks. He's on the top, I'm on the bottom, if you remember, you know. I don't know if any of you youngins remember the good old days back when multiplayer, they had the old split screen. What split screen, like Halo. And what that was is that because you weren't playing online, no, you were playing with somebody on the couch, and so the, it would have to split the screen. I mean, we're screen. technically playing online right now, which kind of no. defeats the whole purpose. No, it, yeah, it kind of sucks. I'm kind of actually disappointed. Usually I'm, I'm all like, oh, but the good old days, the way things were done. I'm kind of pissed. You could pissed. actually do land battles like this, where you could have your own separate GameCube. Wow. And you could just play with the full screen. You could hook up like eight different GameCubes. Really? I yeah. don't know if I'm going to... It was gonna... very interesting. You could like do like four-player split-screen on one GameCube, then a land hookup to another GameCube. So then it would be like eight racers at once. No or you land. could do like co-op versus. Whereas then like you would have two people in a car, 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 two people in a car. No, is land. So it would be is like that... co-op versus. Is that some sort of tube that I plug into my, uh, my uh, electronic GameCube, device? Yes. Okay. I wish I was wrong. It would have been funnier if I just said something that was completely. Now that's like a, that's like a little device that you put onto your your computer box there, isn't it? Like you're yeah. just going into it's it. It's a landline. Oh. Oh well. Oh Jesus! I didn't think it's like you a could fall cable, off. Right for a Game Boy. I was but playing like this. For the GameCube. I was playing this early earlier to get a little bit more, uh, you know, situated with the controls. I was playing the Daisy. Uh, cruise line thing and there's a part where there's a pool and you could fall into the mm -hmm. pool and die and i'm like motherfucker yeah, it's just it's a not pool. like that in mario kart 8 though mario kart no. 8 it just you just turn into like a like a submarine yeah. which i get that but like it's a pool it's like five feet of water it's not gonna drown you i don't even know where i'm going this city layout is so strange oh okay well you're first place i'm second place I guess that works here. Yeah, you're getting there. What up, fellow onions? Says Satterall. Um, not much. Not much. What random thing? Sherbert Land. Now, I love Sherbert Land. This I is do a, love me some Sherbert Land. It's a great course. Yeah, I like the shy guys running around ice skating. Oh, jeez. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm in first place now, baby. Oh, no. Oh, well, I just turned around because I skidded. That's a big, uh, you know, big thing in Mario Kart. The uh, what do you call it? Drifting. Yeah, you skid in Mario Kart and Mario Kart Double Dash is super fucking slippery. Yeah. Well, it's very um, precise. Yeah. As in, like any little movement you do, it like jerks your car around. Yeah. But that's kind of the no. point. Is that it's kind of like a bumper car in this well, game. Well, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Because this like came. People. This is you the fire. era. This is the era where they had uh, Mario Sunshine and Mario Sunshine. The controls were like that too, right? Yeah, very like precise. Very. But that's because the GameCube controller in general is a lot more precise yeah. than like the N sixty four controller. Yeah, I mean they have a C stick. Just the fact you have a C stick. Does the C stick do anything? Uh, it doesn't do anything in this game. No. Wait a minute. What the fuck? There are no PC. There are no. Uh, there are no computer races either. What is it? Just yeah, one v one. I turned them off. Oh, I, I think it would be fun to have a couple of... You yeah, know, next race we'll do it. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll go into Grand Prix. Because that's the thing. If it's just me versus you, it's like, okay. like I can't. interesting. 
No, yeah, I can't even say, all right, well, I didn't beat oh, this Kuko, is like a test but I beat... Just to see how things are going, in case we need to change anything. But all hey, right. it's running fine. <clears throat> it's running great. It's running pretty good, yeah. <clears throat> how do the people feel? What do the people think about uh, the the graphics of this GameCube game? Oh, all Cup Tour Versus. Now, that would be something funny. Oh, that would be. I'm very frightened. 150cc mirror mode. Oh, oh God. I haven't even played these. Like, I haven't memorized the fucking layout of these anyway, so it's gonna, it's not going to make any difference. This was like the one game I played for like a year oh. in like my teenage years. I used to just play this game like every day. You did. You were like one of them Buddhist monks that I unlocked live in the all temple. This, shit. this is actually my old... Uh, this is actually my old uh, save file. I actually transported it in from Dolphin for my actual memory card. Really? That's crazy. Yeah, this is my actual save file we're playing on. Ain't that just quack and crazy? Yeah. I'm glad you unlocked everything. We don't have to go through that. You know? Yeah, you gotta go through this again. We'll go up to 150. Oh, goodness. I'm not gonna do very well. I'm gonna play as King Boo and uh, Wario. I like King Boo. He's kind of a fun character. Let's do the special cup. Mm. The special cup for us special people. Ari Stadium's only a two-lap race, so don't worry. It's just a very long... Oh, yeah. Oh, you got Let's... the boost. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, they're fucking catching up to it. Look at what Bowser's in first place. What's that motherfucker doing? Great music. Yeah, great music that the, that the audience cannot hear. Good well, stuff. I'm in last because I got fucked up by Koopa Show on the You are? On the ramp, so I just this fell. Is, this is why I wanted to have like multiple uh characters. Yeah, it's chaotic. Like... It's a mess like Mario Kart's supposed to be. No, 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 I'm saying like you're very good at this. So if it's just me versus you, it's gonna be oh well like Cuckoo beat me again. But with this I can say, okay, well Cuckoo oh, beat you. me. Yeah, and I could say Cuckoo beat me, but hey, at least I, I like one against five or six of the other, you know, computer characters. People. Yeah. Well, they're not people. This is crazy. This is quacking crazy. This is heckin' crazy, dude. And there was Wario there <clears throat> pointing to his dick. Dude, I'm doing really bad at this course. I haven't played this course in years. Yeah. You were practicing. You were practicing. Like, I was in VC. Well, I hadn't practiced. Well, I hadn't practiced Warriors Coliseum in a long mm. time. Oh. You practiced. I feel like were... practicing any of the different uh, courses is going to make you better no matter what. Yeah, it will. And I should have practiced more. Yeah. The thing is, I like the double, uh, the double cart racers mechanic, but it doesn't really amount to much, does it? I mean, you can switch around by using Z. No, but I mean, the only thing it does is you have, like, an extra guy to hold items. Yeah, but it's pretty cool. It's really fun in co-op. I guess so, yeah, but then the co-op... But the thing is, like, one guy's driving and then the other guy, all he has to do is hold on to the items. It well, seems... you communicate with the other guy. Okay. It seems like a very little brother kind of uh, placement. It's like, oh, well, you can, you can deal with the items. You know, I'm going to be driving the cart, but you can you can throw banana peel if you want. I don't know. I would want to be the guy to throw banana peels. Oh, yeah. Well, that's by just because you... my green shell, by the way. Well, you're just sadistic. You just like seeing other people uh, get hurt and killed. I'm in eighth yeah. place. Motherfucker. Eighth place. I finally pulled ahead of him. I'm going to fucking kill myself. Jesus. You can actually get a boost from Laka, too. Oh, you can? This is the thing, this is the annoying thing, is that, like, I went through a boost, and then I didn't, like, I, I went left, and so then instead of uh, getting a boost and, and winning, I just fell. I just fell off the stage. It's a horrible game. all these fucking banana peels right here? I think that was me. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this was the bullet bill before the bullet bill, the chain shot. Yeah, this was the bullet before the bullet. Ladies That's kind of fun the bullet i almost got fucking destroyed by the yeah. come on come on come on come on oh that was close and then bullet bill says his famous line it's bullet billing time yeah <laughs> like that when does he say that that's okay well now the audience is deaf are you yeah, okay chat 
I don't care if I get last place or not. As long as I beat Goodly, it's okay. Jesus. Well, at least I beat some of the AI in a game made for children. Squabbly, you motherfucker. Oh, no. These these AI actually fucking cheat. Like, they're super aggressive in this game. Yeah. Not he as bad as 64, me. but... 64, they just rubber banded. Yeah. Do they rubber band in this game? Not as much. They're just really dickheaded drivers. Oh, look. A funny little dinosaur. Look, it's Gertie the Dinosaur. One of the oldest yeah, animated Nessie. characters. Oh, Nessie. All right. Oh, fuck me. I yeah, heavyweights are kind of unwieldy in Double Dash. It's actually yeah. better to play a lightweight when you're yeah. starting. Maybe I should, actually. But the thing is, all they have all the cool characters. They have Bowser and Wario. Yeah, yeah, they have Bowser. They have Wario. They have King Boo and Petey Piranha. Yeah, I love Petey Piranha. He's such a cool guy. I didn't realize that Petey Piranha was supposed to look like an overgrown baby. I just yeah, thought he was weird. He's got like a because the hair like I never noticed that the flower was supposed to be a baby bonnet. I just thought yeah, he was like a, a I thought he was a weird dude in his underwear and his boxer briefs. But no, he's a baby. Game shit in the bed. Oh yeah, you could see that too. I'm very frightened. Yeah, no, it it sinks for both. It was probably the internet getting throttled. Yeah. For some reason, the internet yeah, kept no. cutting out today. Um, I'd see the little globe icon where the, the Wi-Fi icon was supposed to be. Oh, so, it's probably on your end because I'm hooked up to Ethernet. Okay. Again, Ethernet. These fucking words. I have a wired connection. Okay. Why not? Why not just be hooked up to the cloud? Why not just hook up how to the Matrix? I, that's not how that works. It's not? That's... The cloud doesn't... Well, then what did Steve Jobs and fucking Apple iMac or Bill, whatever his name is, why... Uh, Bill, isn't Bill that what Clinton. he was... Yeah, what, is that what the he was trying to do? The owner of Linux. The owner of Linux, <laughs> yeah. There's Bill Gates and Bill, there's Bill Clinton. Bill and Mac. Then, yeah, the two Bill twins. And Bill and Billy, Ted. The Billy yeah, twins. Bill and Ted. Yeah. And Bill Gates and Bill Clinton Dude, are like... Yeah. Oh, Jesus. And Bill Gates and Bill Clinton are like, yeah, there's too many people. We've got to, uh, I don't know, do population control or something. And then they yeah. put chemicals in the water. The most. Yeah, and they turn the fucking tubbies gay. Yeah. Who are the tubbies? The Teletubbies? The Teletubbies. Oh, no. They made the Teletubbies. I thought the Teletubbies were already gay. No, well, you see, it was actually all part of a liberal agenda, a oh, liberal yeah. conspiracy, if you will. Well, that's the thing about the Teletubbies is they're all... I think one of them was gay, but they're all non-binary anyway. I mean, look at them. Oh, thank God. Jesus Christ, I was doing horrible. I'm terrible at this game. Some people have really sensitive hearing, says Mushroom. Uh, you know, <laughs> quoting, a, <laughs> quoting a meme that's not even from uh, my channel. I, I picked the wrong card. I picked the pink one. I picked the yeah. gay one. Ooh. No. Don't I could have be... picked the cool blue one. Why be homophobic when you could be homosexual? Now, come here and suck my dick. That's right. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Oh, you still got to finish racing. Yeah, I do. I'm you not very fin... good at this game. Uh, I just keep falling off the course. Oh, this is par for the course. But to be fair, though, we're also playing the hardest courses in the game. Yeah. Oh, we are. Yeah, we're playing the special cup. Like last yeah. course is going to be Rainbow Road, Lane oh. Blow Load. Oh, I wish we could play the special ed cup where they put bumpers on everything so you can't fall off. Make you feel I mean, nice. I just called but... assist mode in Mario Kart. Oh, there's assist mode. Yeah, and they they made it idiot proof. Boomer Draws asks small Japanese man about early 2000s technology. How do you feel about being called a small Japanese man, Kuko? I mean, that's not the worst thing I've ever been called. What's the worst thing you've ever been on. called? I can't repeat that on stream. Oh, well, actually, you can. No, I'm if it's not. What I, oh. It was something. Oh, that's that sucks when it's It'll something. Get us clean. They call you, like, they call you something that doesn't even apply to you because they don't even know what the fuck you are. That's a long story. Yeah. It's like Filthy Frank. I think there was a Filthy Frank bit when uh, Anything for Views got the tattoo. And he called him, like, a, a, a slur for, like, a Chinese person. And he was like, that's the wrong slur. 
and then anything for Fuse was like, ah, oh, it's all the same to me. And that was even no, that made that it even worse. This shit, I like, knew what they were talking about. Oh, I was this was this the gentleman from Encyclopedia Dramatica when you uh, downplayed no. the importance of that site to him? Oh no, he called you the correct no. thing. No, no, no. He just didn't insult me like. Well, I mean, he did, but he did. He was mad. I think I don't know. I don't know if I should be telling this story, but it is a funny yeah, story. Yeah, we shouldn't be telling this story. I mean, okay. this is it, nothing it was... to do with Mario Kart. No. Well, I mean, we don't have to talk about. But I mean, if you've seen my streams with relative depression, there's gonna be like an animated version of like a highlight of the stream or something. It's just gonna be us sitting in the cart, like talking about this very serious shit. Yeah, this is very serious. Uh, yeah, these skirmishes we've had online, like just me hanging out in the back. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I had us. I don't know if you racism. Yeah, I don't know if you saw the thumbnail. I oh, had us in Daisy. the Jesus. I I put Did us in the. No, I didn't. I can't hear anything. I put us in oh. a paddy wagon in the thumbnail from SpongeBob. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. That should be an actual cart in Mario Kart DLC. Yeah. Well, I'm sure there's a mod. I'm win. sure there's like a shit post oh, mod there is. somewhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There has to be. I remember I spent a lot of autistic time thinking about uh, a Mario Kart mod. Where it's like, it was for the streamer Vinnie Vine Sauce. And instead of all the different Mario Kart racers, it was just different memes. It was just different meme characters. And I wasted so much time thinking about this hypothetical uh, Mario Kart. There is a mod of Mario Kart DS that like references Vinny. Yeah. No, but I think I saw that and I was like, I want to make an even bigger and better version of that. But, you know, instead of actually making it, I just thought about it. Because I don't know anything about game programming. Man, I'm know. a little rusty at Double Dash. I'm a little uh, fucking. If you're rusty, New to Double Dash. Yeah, uh, if you're rusty, I'm completely dead. I'm petrified and catatonic. Oh, I like what I was like in my prime. Yeah. What you were like in your prime? No, you're in your prime right now because you're so you're just so fucking good. At, uh, no, at I'm not double my prime. I'm just focused. Oh, well, maybe that's what the thing is, is I'm not very focused. You know. Oh, goodness. You know, oh, it goodness. may come at the cost of a few. You forgot everything except uh, fine, dining, fine dining and breathing. And breathing. Yeah. There, thank you for catching that. Oh, Jesus. There are so many fucking banana peels everywhere. Oh, you hit, You got hit by my banana peel? This is the thing is I, I made CPUs because I'm like, oh, well, I could still fight the CPUs. I could still beat the CPUs. Eighth fucking place. Third time in a fucking eight. row. We yeah. got it. No, wait until the crazy shit starts with like the Mario Kart 8, the Mario Kart Wii Wi-Fi races. Oh, no. Or if you ever get a capture card for the Switch and Mario Kart 8. Yeah. Well, with Mario Kart 8, they reward you for being a bad player, and they punish you for being good at the game. So, yeah, that's going to be great. No, no, same, no, it's even worse than Wii. Wii is really? just an app. Well, Wii no, Wii, I'm sorry. Wii is I an meant... absolute fucking, like, no item balance. 8 yeah. actually has some item balance, and you can no, do yeah. shells properly. I said, I said Wii 8 <laughs> instead of Wii. I meant Wii, because that really happens in Wii, where it's like, yeah, if you're, if you're in last place, you get all the fucking good items, and if you're in first place... You get one shell and uh, a, a. I know a there are like peel. custom Wii rooms now and like meme fi and stuff like that. Mm. Or Weem fi, I'm sorry, not meme fi. Mm. Um, and you can. Uh, and you can just turn off items or they heavily limit items. Mm. Oh, what is this? We're oh, on you the didn't new the race started? I didn't know. I was looking at the chat and uh, Star said something about. She had an idea for a compilation of the weird world of PNG tubers that we all are. One day I'll be a VTuber. One day I'll have a big rig of just a fat big guy. Big rigs. Yeah. Big motherfucking rigs. i will be like, welcome to the basement, everybody. It's me, Basement Chain. Uh, whoa. Welcome, Basement Brothers. I'll call them Basement Brothers. Basers, something, if you will. So, something horrible. Oh, I'm going to... This is the... Oh! I just realized how horrible this this is. 
because I kept saying, man, I just keep falling off the side. I keep falling off the edge. And now I'm on Rainbow Road. It's where the you go world. when you're Rainbow Road. It's where it's you where go, you when, go you die. when you die. <laughs> I don't think, you know, somebody really needs to check that, you know, fact check that dude. I don't, I don't think Rainbow Road is, is like a, an afterlife. I think so. I, think I have just race on it forever. I've fallen you off race the on side. All of them. I've fallen off the side about six or seven times already. Oh, look, here, here I go again. I'm not going to get through I, a single I, lap. I, I'm kind of rusty on this particular Rainbow Road. I remember MK yeah. Wee's Rainbow Road. This is the thing is you're like, oh, I'm really rusty. I'm kind of rusty. First place every single time. No, I get like second a lot of the oh, time second. against oh. like 150cc. You get second. AIs and double dash. Oh, what a fucking fool you are to you get need second place. place. To unlock shit. Yeah. No, me when I was playing extra sweaty as a child. Yeah. I fucking hate that the fucking saying sweaty. It's like you suck See, at the it's game. Like I didn't have I I didn't have Wii a lot as a kid, but I did have double dash as a kid mostly. Okay, yeah. Well yeah, you were a GameCube but, guy. You were a GameCube. I was a GameCube PS2. I mean it's not that I didn't have a Wii, I had a Wii around launch time. It's just It's I just you were a never GameCube guy. Got Mario Kart eight like that. Mario Kart Wii, I'm sorry, not eight. Yeah. I didn't play eight. I actually did, had a Wii, but didn't play eight. I actually played like Smash Four and stuff. Because mm. I was Smash Four, with, like, Mario Kart DS. Yeah, Smash Four on Smash Wii. Smash Four. You play Smash Brothers? What are you, some kind of uh, guy who doesn't shower? <laughs> no, but I ran into a lot of people that did not a fucking shower, at least in yeah. the American side of the Smash community. Oh yeah, stupid, ugly, that fat didn't Americans. Understand. No, it's not that. A lot of them were welders yeah. where I come from. Oh. And they didn't bother showering. So it before wasn't going to the fucking. So it wasn't even the stereotype. It was a completely different reason for them being smelly, but they were still smelly. Yeah, and they couldn't be bothered to go home and start the tournament at a fucking hour later. Well, you know, give them a break. They're all welders. You know, they're they're yeah, they're, they're all welders. Hard, <laughs> taking a hard yeah, but job. If, but you know, if I was, you know, because I will currently, it's like, yeah. dude, just fucking like shower or something man just ask yeah. them to be like hey start a little later the thing is i know that welders have a really hard job you know they gotta they gotta put in a lot of physical effort but man they got nothing on streamers it's a really hard fucking yeah, streamers, job. streamers man really really yeah. hard man i you know i'm so sick i i'll just not stream today yeah really, exactly really you know those no, welders like, no you'll be dying and you gotta come into work yeah exactly those fucking welders have never dealt with a single mean comment on the internet, is the thing. They'd be yeah, devastated. No. They'd They've be... never been cussed out. They've never been spat on. No, no. They've never been abused or accused yeah. or other things yeah. that rhyme with ooze. They've never been accused of, of things that they've done actually factually and then had to lie about that. No, I didn't do that. They've never had to deal with sex scandals that they got themselves nope, into. Never. No. Never. But mean comments on the internet, that's way harder than anything the real life could throw at yeah, us. Exactly. People could be pretty mean online. They could be really mean. Kill yourself. They'll they'll say kill yourself. They'll call you gay. Yeah, and you gotta take it serious. They'll call you fake and gay. I'm like, I'm not I, I don't suck dicks. I've but only I'm not sucked fake either. I'm a real person. Yeah, I'm not fake, yeah. Who wrote I this? Touch my flesh. Who wrote this lie? Never in Who my life. This have... lie? Never have in I my eaten life. Pants? Yeah, never in my life have I eaten one dick. I suggest deport, expulsion, suspension, yeah. expulsion, deportation. I love. By the thing is, I I watched the YouTube poop of that episode more than the actual episode. So when I think of that, I think I'm talking expulsion, castration. <laughs> Two hundred ass fucks. Two hundred ass fucks. And then it, instead of it saying like uh, the dude eats pants, it's just the Quran, and he points to it. He goes, <laughs> "Who wrote this lie? <laughs> Why? Oh yeah, that's not gonna be offensive at all. Yeah, never in my life have I eaten one beaten. I think he was saying bean. The thing with YouTube poops one is bean. it's hard. I've never eaten a bean in my life. It's hard for a certain sentence uh, mixers to know. Like, it's hard for you to tell sometimes when people sentence mix. 
it's not even that the se- the sentence mixing is bad. It's just like just because uh, somebody well, sometimes says the voice horrible. clips aren't high quality. Yeah, enough to be able to be properly done, so they kind of have to bullshit. That's the thing like, is, budget. I was a YouTube, but honestly, Cooper. it's more effort. It's a lot of effort. It's it is so effort. much effort. I respect it. I do too. Because the thing is, I remember watching YouTube poops and seeing poops where the sentence mixing was kind of like, man, I don't know what the fuck that guy is saying. When I, if I made a YouTube poop, everything would be so clear and concise. And so one day I tried to make a Michael Rosen YouTube poop, which was just all, all sentence mixing. And I was so disappointed in myself. I did. I did. <laughs> it's Rainbow Road. It's the hardest fucking track in the game. Yeah, but anyway, I made the Michael Rosen YouTube poop, and you couldn't understand goddamn anything Michael Rosen was saying. <clears throat> and it was so hard, because when you sentence mix, you have to, like, take, like, a 10-minute a, a long clip and find, like, 0. 0.0 seconds where a character is making an A sound. So you'll isolate the A sound, and then you realize, oh, he's making an A sound, but that doesn't even fucking sound like an A sound. That's not a clear A. That's a fucking, uh, uh. Oh, Cookie Land. Block you City. On the, do you want to fight on the Nintendo GameCube, or do you want to fight on Block City? Or... Ooh, Luigi's Mansion. I High like Plaza Luigi. is also a cool yeah. one. Block City, bitch. I mean, we'll block, fight on Block all City, these. bitch. Block City, bitch. Block, Block City, bitch. All right, let's kill each other. And by that, I mean, let's you kill me. Ah! Oh, no. Don't do that. That's not very nice. 9 11. 9 was bad. That's the thing, is it's so it was funny. Bad and not funny. No, well, that's the thing, is like, uh, you know, back in the day, if you wanted to, to get people on your side, that was the whole point of the Family Guy joke. Is Lois was a politician, and she said, 9 11 was bad. But if you want to get on the, the good side of Twitter, you get you get on your computer on the day of 9/11 and you go 9/11 was good was good and then people are like that's so fucking funny dude oh man wow all so those funny. rich bankers died it's okay cuz uh all the people that died in 9/11 were rich or some such shit i don't know if that's the reason or why something it's... else of a certain persuasion in life that's the fucking thing, though, is I'm afraid that the reason why 9-11 jokes are okay again is because Twitter is like, well, well like, it was only a bunch of rich people that died. Like, I'm Dude, afraid... We're talk- I feel like we're adults playing Mario Kart from, like, the early 2000s that are just talking about 9-11 in, like, 2003. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, the finer points of 9-11. You know, we really get into it. Really? Jeez. I feel like there are a lot of uh, long pauses in this one because I'm trying so hard to concentrate on being good at Mario Kart, and I suck at Mario Kart. Jesus. You know, we're not talking about 9-11 as if it were happening today. We're talking about, like, the history of 9-11. The history of 9-11 jokes, specifically. You know, how they were funny, and then... They became not funny, and then they became funny again because so much time had passed. You know? Which is weird because, like, Columbine jokes aren't funny. I mean, they're yeah, very they funny. funny. Well, you know, I but mean... It's because a lot of children, like, died, and it was oh, like, yeah, pretty much okay. all children. Yeah, but the children... Little... Well, the thing is, they were being killed by children, so technically, you know, they were punching up. When they, when they, when they make, it's like how, you know, black people can make fun of black people and Jewish people can make fun of Jews and white people can't make fun of anybody. It's kind of like that. So why is it like, why are people upset about that? Oh, what? Cause people died. Oh, people oh. died. Oh, come on now. Oh, look at that. You fucker. <laughs> you something. I did. I didn't even know. I wasn't even paying attention to anything. Change stage. Let's go to Block City. That shit's crazy. This game, My, this fucking map goes crazy. Yeah. Wow, oh boy. It's a room full of blocks. It goes crazy like my dad. Yeah. It goes crazy like my dad when he hits the sauce. Like my mom in the mental hospital. Oh, no. Yeah, my mom in the mental hospital after my dad drank too much and, you know, started getting real handsy. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's not go that far. I was thinking more so she just lost her mind. Oh, okay. No, I thought that it was connected. I mean, it's all connected. There's a, there's a big history of, uh, of geez, 
look at all these bananas. What? We're going bananas over here. I like the I like the grumpy banana. Look on my screen real quick. Hold on. Yeah, no, the the grumpy banana because it's a bigger mm, banana. That's gonna be my Discord icon. Yeah. Just a big angry ass banana. It's funny you change your Discord icon even though it's still yellow. Like you've got the yeah, Pikachu it'll right now. Yellow, yeah, it's still yellow. I never change my Discord icon. The thing about the bombs, oh no, oh fuck. Like, I, I don't know if you saw this on stream, but when I was practicing, uh, there were a lot of instances where I was throwing the bomb forward, and then I just ran into the bomb and fucked myself. Now I'm fucking you up. Oh no. Yeah, because you're, get, you're getting the hang of it. Oh Jesus. Did I just fucking kill myself oh, with the Bowser yourself? shell? I ought to fucking... Somehow. I ought to shoot myself in the dick. Don't do that. Goodly, all I'm saying is that land? you should know that Rainbow Road is a place you go when you die. When uh, you the die. Rain the Rainbow Bridge exists in our series, and he's, of course, talking about the Fluffers. That wonderful show, The Fluffers. Who's saying this? Uh, Joey T. Who's Raccoon. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. And let I me take say a look. I was like Yeah, let me take a look here. I completely forgot about the submarine thing. Yeah, you know, it's a drop in the bucket. I don't know. People people were really selectively mean about that. I understand why to some degree, but, like, not everybody on there was, like, a rich asshole. You'd think that every single person on that fucking submarine was, like, Dr. Doom and Lex Luthor. Yeah, but, uh, you know, no matter who you are, I wouldn't wish, like, a slow death no. like that upon my worst fucking enemies. Exactly, yeah. Twitter's a fucking illness. No, People yeah, exactly. Twitter fucking actually sick. T Twitter is, can be summed up by the philosophy, no bad tactics, just bad targets. Like, too oh, yeah, mad... Yeah, movie bomb. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Too, too mad will die, and everybody will be like, all right, P-Bozo! I believe all of I mean, the yeah, claims. It's kind of funny that he died with Overwatch 2 on his thing. Like, it, that's it is. Kind of funny. No, but then what I immediately saw after that was like Susan Wojcinski's kid died, and then people were also being all right, people, so, which like that is worse. Well, but what what I, fucking you know, annoys me? You don't have me, to like Susan, but you don't have to shit on the kid. No, but the what kid has probably nothing to do with it. No, but what annoys me is like somebody was responding to it and being like, "Oh, why why are we normalizing making fun of people's deaths?" The two mad didn't count. Two mad deserved it. And I'm, I'm just sitting there thinking, maybe maybe if you do something, even if you do something for, like, a bad person, that still normalizes things. It's like the whole thing, uh, you know how uh, we invented the nuclear bomb, and then we dropped it on Japan, because, well, Japan's our enemy. Japan's the bad guy in, in World War II. And then we dropped it, and we were like, oh, nobody else is going to, yeah, nobody else is going to use nukes for for any other reasons, and then it turned out, oh, everybody's going to use nukes, and we might blow ourselves up. So maybe just because uh, something is justified at the time doesn't mean it's always fucking just. Sometimes there you are bad. Star and you didn't use it. No, I didn't, because I was I was too busy yapping. Yeah, this is how I beat Goodly. By the way, mm -hmm. is that I just let him yammer on. As the saying goes, tragedy plus time equals comedy. Yeah. Well, that's not really true, though. I, I think uh, sometimes something can happen the day of, and uh, the memes are just immediate. You know? This is a cool map. I like this map. Yeah. Oh, this is where the cart starts tilt, oh. or the map starts tilting, so it's like tilt a cart. Well, this kind of reminds me of that uh, Mario 125 demo that came out on I wouldn't be surprised E3. if they use some of the tech. Yeah. That's crazy how, like, that one demo, like, everything that was shown off in that demo, like, went into so many different games. Like, there were 125 Marios running around, that was Pikmin, and then, like, the terrain forming and, like, deforming. That I went sniped into... you. I hit you with the green shell. God damn it, I need to get another, but I want to, like, Band. ram into is there a way to ram into you and get another balloon? Could you do that in this game? Uh, you could do that with the mushroom. I was trying to do oh, that okay. earlier. All right. Yeah, I need to fucking get another balloon. Okay, could you just stand still so I can... Oh! I'm not going to lose a balloon for that. <laughs> I'm not going to lose a balloon for that. No, 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 no. I'm I think gonna... you... I think you do. Or no. Oh, what did I get? Do. Why did they put me on top of a, a, a platform in the sky? I guess to prevent a game crash, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is the best fucking map. This was in DS. Oh, yeah, I think I remember this. 
Oh, this came from this game, then DS took oh, it. Yeah. That's kind of funny how there are a bunch of different, like, legacy tracks. I yeah, want to have... Like the series. Yeah, I want to have, like, a, a Smash Brothers Ultimate-style Mario Kart game where, like, every... I think that's I think that's what they're building up to, because there's a lot of DLC for it. Like, it's, like, yeah. almost every Mario Kart character, if not every single one. I don't think it's going to be every single track is the thing. Like, they're just bringing back a no, lot No, I don't of think so. I think just bring... I mean, that's kind of what Mario Kart 8 DLC did. Yeah, but that's what I want, though, is, like, just a, a Mario Kart... And then I want to have one of those the... people that wants all of the Super Nintendo tracks, just like twenty five plus like flat tracks. Hmm. No, and but like the thing is, seven. no, but when they bring back those tracks, they're gonna like do a bunch of shit to soup them up. Is the thing? Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. That, or I would like them to have like a regular like Mario Kart mode and like a double dash mode, whereas then you yeah. can have like two carts and that you can like mix fun. and match. And you can have, like, one guy in one cart and then, like, one guy, like me, like, doing yeah. like a Toadette and Bowser combo. Well, I don't think that would be fair because then you would get, like, to store more items and then the other guy wouldn't. No, you'd still get two items. It would just be, like, Mario Kart 8 yeah. Deluxe where you can... Are there, like, custom items in this uh, game where, like, if you have a certain character in your cart, yes, like, you yes, can it's use a, a special. signature? Okay. It's like a, yeah, it's like a super move. Does everybody have a super move? Like, does Wario have a super yes, move? Yes, everybody has a super move, including, uh, well, oh, PD Piranha me. and King Boo don't have their own. They just take, they randomly select one from the other characters. Oh, that's kind of fun. What What is Waluigi's like super move? Uh, bob -omb. Same thing with Wario. Yeah, but I, but everybody just can bob use. Can everybody use no, bob No, no, it's though? in battle mode. No, oh, okay. No. No, it's just in battle mode where everybody can use everyone's super. Oh. Is it like they're more likely to get the bombs or nobody else gets the bombs other than No, guys? nobody else than the normal single player, no. Really? That's kind of interesting. That's the thing is it would be enough it would be interesting enough if like, okay, you don't have custom items, but if you pick I this saw character your balloon, by the way. if you pick this character, you're more than likely or you're more likely, I mean, to get certain items. Like, you get Bowser. Oh, we gotta do Mario Party like this. We I actually, just realized we can do Mario Party 4. No, like we gotta this. get... I really want to have, like, four people eventually. It might be a little bit too chaotic for four people. But... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, we just start screaming. Yeah, we scream over each other. I'm gonna start telling people... We do Drunk themselves. Mario Party. We gotta do Drunk Mario Party. We do. We, we could do get Mario. get all four of them, like, drunk. Like, me included. Yeah, it would be interesting to do, like, Mario Retardy. I even came up with a different... Because I know, like, you know, people don't like calling it Mario Retardy anymore. I think Vinny played it, uh, like, not recently, but he played it, and then he changed the name to Mario Crazy. I think I came up with a better term for, for like, Mario Retardy. Mario Lobotomy. See, because oh, that kind of... So to play some of that. Doesn't that sound like a better name? That sounds like a name that, you know, it... it... Yeah, Mario Lobotomy, Jesus. Yeah, because it's still, you know, it's not offensive to anyone unless you had a lobotomy recently, but, you know, you got bigger that, that... problems with that <laughs> than, than somebody, you know, trying to make fun of you. We gotta do... Oh, we Jesus. Gotta do Block City. Yeah. Gotta play around a bob on blast. go man this drifting is crazy i was oh, it's I very just, weird it, it, did like you it see wasn't me? telling mario kart ds were like the modern hmm. did you see me trying like to drift that. around that thing trying to get it and i couldn't get at it that big block you just gotta kind of like flick the stick a little bit like back and forth you just i don't know what massage the... does it does you it... gotta make love to the stick basically what do you mean flick the stick you mean like like a okay I think one of the controllers is a little bit broken because uh, you push down on the on that specific uh, stick. And then no, it... you don't push down. You just go back and forth. No, but like you put – well, I mean with this one, if you push down too hard, like it'll, it'll stick. Oh, jeez. I don't know. You could kind of see that in Luigi's Mansion where I was stuck in suck mode for, for a little bit too long. Oh. But I used I have two controllers, so you know I'm not just not going to use. How far that one. are you in Woogie's Mansion? I've kind I, of only saw little bits and pieces of the stream. I've been kind of busy. 
I get it. Uh, in the second one, I beat it. I beat it in part two. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, I got that's the Bowser. Good. Yeah. Because I remember you fighting a bunch of booze. Hmm. Yeah, Are you yeah, play yeah. Sunshine next, or? I don't know what I'm gonna play. This is slowly turning into the GameCube stream. This is slowly. I mean, to be turning fair, though. The... I mean, Pikmin's a GameCube game. That is true. Yeah. I was thinking of play playing Sonic Adventure 2 Battle in multiplayer. I've... That'd be funny. I feel kind of like bad because I'm like, oh yeah, I could play all these games from my childhood, even though, you know, I could use the stream as a as a an excuse to play even like you know new games that I've never experienced before. Yeah. Like Doshin the Giant. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Isn't isn't that like GameCube? Well, it was on the N sixty four DD, and then yeah. they released it on GameCube proper. Okay. Can you play N64 games on this? Oh, Fantasy Star Online. Uh, on Dolphin, uh, you can use the virtual console. I think you can like hook up like Mario Kart 64 and do net play like that. All right, yeah. Because I was thinking, I don't know if I'm going to be around for, like, you know, Easter Day I'm going to be busy, but I might do something like a Yoshi game, Yoshi Story. I remember Yoshi Story. It was kind of fun. But you know what I, I also want to do is, because this is a game that I Yossi's really like. Island, that'd be pretty sick. Yeah. If we're doing GameCube games, because I know I want to play Wario World. That's a really good game. I don't know if you've played that. Why are you just standing there? What do you mean? You're just standing there. Well, you haven't picked anything yet. I've already picked something. Oh, Be Return. Oh, it just looks like you're... See, look, yeah, see, I'm drifting right here. Oh, wh see? where am I right now? You're in Pipe Plaza with me. I think there's a delay right now, because I just see, like... It probably because you tapped out, maybe. B, return. B, return. I'm hitting B for return. I don't know, I think... Maybe we should restart. Maybe I should just, like... Oh, okay, Grand Prix. Did you, did you, uh, maybe there's like a delay or something? Here, let me see. Let me try, try something here. I might have to exit the session and start. Yeah, we, we might have to restart. Can you or believe? you might have to leave the session. Can you believe Mario Sunshine aged worse than Mario 64? Uh, depression? Uh, go back to... It does, to, it did, that's true. Back behind the shed, Show depression, me. we're gonna... We're gonna fucking put two between the eyes, old yellow. No, style. that's no. He's correct. Here, uh, I'm gonna start it again. Don't you encourage him? Are you exit out? Yeah, I exited out. Yeah. Yeah, there is a desync. Yeah. Okay, there's a desync. All right, we're gonna fix that though. Don't worry, chat. Don't worry, uh, loyal chat members. We're gonna desync that shit. How many? How many games have you been like that? Just one. Okay, just uh, one. Okay, yeah, so you the saw one. the previous game where we yeah. did the bob on blast. We did the bob on blast. Okay. Well, oh wait, did, were we still in Pipe Plaza when the bob on blast no, happened? No, no, no. We were in Block City the initial time, and then we went to Pipe Plaza, and that's I guess when the desync happened or something. Did we go to Pipe Plaza? Did we go to uh, Block City like twice? No, like we went to times? Block City once, and then we went to Pipe Plaza. Okay, no, yeah, it was the Pipe Plaza for me then, I guess. Okay, okay, so it was recent. Let's do some yeah. co-op, Goodly. Let's, Let's do, do some co-op. Oh, man, I get to be Let's the proverbial... cup tour. I'm the proverbial little brother. So we press Z at the same time if we want to switch, and you want to drive the cart. Okay, I guess I'm going to... You want to be a lightweight? Yeah, we'll do lightweight. I'll be Toad. I'll be a uh, paratroopa. We'll do the blue cart. The blue cart's pretty sick. Yeah. Either that or do you want the train? Oh, is the blue cart? Oh, is that like a throwback to like the old Mario Kart? Yeah, I love this blue cart. Yeah, I use it every tough. game. It's a funny thing. It doesn't ex look exactly like the old Mario Kart, but it looks like it, it almost looks like the Mario Kart for like the Wii. Well, it looks like the DS one to me. Yeah. See, look, with like the two pipes coming out. Oh, goodness. Holy Look shit. Look at us go. Wow. All right, I guess Here, it's time for me Z? to... No, you can drive. I, I guess, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll handle the items. 
Is there a way to look behind me? Oh, we have to drift together. Oh no. This this is a disaster. Look at this race. We have to... It's a fucking disaster. Oh, you can like move my cart around a little bit. Oh yeah. Wait, why are you doing that? I'm sorry. I I didn't realize I could move it around. Here, uh, click do the stick. Kind of like a. Oh, she. Sorry. I don't know why. Like I'm drifting. Like you. Oh, I don't think no, we you have press to. Press L and R. I oh L and R together. No. No. L and R, I I don't. L or R. I don't think I need to help you drift. I think. I think. No, I see. Look, I'm I'm doing the thing, and it's not letting me get the blue spark. I think we have to like. So I. No, but like when I do it, I do this. I I don't drift. I do this. Whatever the fuck this is. Oh Lord. No, that that's because I have to drift while you're drifting. All right, okay. you have to drift while I'm drifting. See, like. Oh okay, okay. You drift that way. Oh no. Drift to the right. No, I, that is, this is the weird. No. Oh, so we have to press it at the same fucking time? Yeah, we have to, like, so, like, say if I'm drifting, like, this way, I'm pressing left on my stick. You have to press left on the stick as well. It's not the stick, though. It's the, uh, oh, what? I don't know why it's not letting me. It's L and, L and R. You keep calling or it a L stick. Or R. Yeah, that's no, yeah, a... you use the L and R button, and then you hit the stick yeah. while you're in the L and R. Okay. While you're drifting. This is gonna be. Uh, I'm. I feel like I'm weighing you down. No, no, no. I I find this shit funny. Again, it's okay. 50 cc. As long as you're even mildly competent, you don't even need like mini turbos. Yeah. Okay. All right, we got a goal. Yay! Look at that. We won by being mediocre and incompetent uh, generally. Oh well, boy. we're just kind of figuring this shit out as we go along. There are some missions in Sunshine that are ridiculously glitchy. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're horrible. Oh, yeah, no. The watermelon mission? Fuck the watermelon mission. Yeah, the physics are kind of... Oh, my homies. They, they're like, really... Like, Mario's physics are good. No, the, I guess Mario's physics are good, but then you're asked to jump on platforms where the physics on the platforms themselves are... he's way too are, heavy. They're somehow even jankier than 64. Which 64, like, if anything was, was like, on a slope... That was even slightly too sloped. You just you just slid off. Yet somehow in in sunshine they were asking you to like jump on the head of a pin. It's like the fucking sandbird uh, level. I don't know what the fuck they were oh, on. Oh god, the when sandbird they... level. <laughs> yeah. And then you like jumped off, like you fell off, and a cloud caught you. But there was no way for you to get back to anywhere. You're just stuck on that cloud. Can I hit people with that? Hit. Yeah, you just gotta be patient and okay. not spam the item. Oh, okay. I got him. Like, so I got him, boss. X's I got him. Why to do that like thing? Where you? Like... No. Pressing X does okay. this. Pressing Y okay, does this. Okay, yeah, it's like single player. Okay. Yeah, pressing R. Yeah. I got him, boss. I got him. Yeah, then I don't know how you do mini turbos in co-op. It just looks like I'm punching. Can I punch that Goomba? Does no, that, I think that... you can punch other racers, though. That doesn't make you go slower, does it? I think maybe that's the, the well, trade-off. it throws me off. Get close to a racer. I want to see if I can I can give him the old one, too. Yeah, well... Have you ever played co-op? We'll, we'll have to do it. In... No, I think I've only ever played it once when I was, like, six. With yeah, my that's, brother. that's the thing. But I was actually the driver. Oh, oh you press oh, Z at the same time. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at us go. See, what what can you do as Toad? Can you swipe? See, press that, uh, yeah. Yeah, see, I, I, yeah, I do swipe like that. Oh, I think, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do that again. Oh, geez, do it again. Oh, well, you're not. How oh, do you hold on, I'm, I'm being dragging behind. Okay. Yeah, look, look, I think, yeah, maybe you are supposed to do, because, like, you can see it sparks up slightly yeah, when you do that. See, yeah. Okay, maybe. Oh, maybe what we do. Oh yeah, is... we gotta work together. Yeah. We have so, to work together. We have to be in sync like that. 
Okay, so what happens? Like, you press that, and then that means you, uh... Yeah, I press that. We're both holding, like, L or R. It don't matter. Okay. And then, you know, we hit the stick. Okay. Like, for back and forth, back and forth. Like, left, right, left, right, yeah. left, right, to kind of okay. do the, 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 the mini okay. turtles. That's how you do that in Double Dash. Mario okay. Kart 8 onward, it's a uh, time-based thing, as in how no. long you hold the drift. Yeah, you just hold it, which that's what I've been doing is hold it. Maybe that's why I suck at this fucking game, is I've just been holding it. Yeah, no, you got to be, like, super frantic. Alexa, game. Alexa, play Drift King by Club Doom. Yeah, that would help us a lot. That would help our case. Okay. Oh, jeez. Well, look at that. What the heck? Why didn't you dodge Come those on. crazy... Oh, jeez. Well, I was trying to, and then I got shoved back into them. I'm gonna kill that motherfucker in front of us. It's interesting playing with a handicap, like not being able to do mini yeah. turbos. It's really... It's yeah. actually very refreshing, because I usually just mini turbo the shit out of... Yeah, you're just you're just trying to run a marathon with some big fat neckbeard on your back. Patrick, that's not a ride. Patrick, that's not a fucking ride. <laughs> it's fun. Ah! Oh no. Well, did I do that? Yeah, you did that. Oh no. Oh I'm sorry. Oh god, Mario Party's gonna be a nightmare. Because yeah. like everybody's gonna be on even playing fields with that shit. Four, five, or six. Or seven. Four. Four is always the funny shit. Man, there were a lot of Mario parties. There are a lot of good Mario parties. I would say, like, the last good one was, like, eight, from what I've I, heard. You know, I liked Mario Party. No, wait. Was eight the one for the Wii? Yeah, that was the first one for the Wii. Yeah. I liked the uh, mini game. Not the mini game. I like the one where it's, like, the Monopoly board. You can keep investing in the hotels. Oh, that's Fortune Street. Oh. Did you did you do that on purpose? No, I didn't. I, this is the thing is like when when I do this way, this is the right, right? This is drifting to the right. It's drifting to the yeah. right. And this is the same mistake because I'm still learning to fucking I'm still learning to fucking do this shit. This is the oh Jesus. I'm sorry, man. Oh no, it's all right. No, I'm having fun. Okay. This is exactly the kind of clusterfuck I want. Yeah. I feel like the whole time, like even during the setup, you were trying to tell me how to do shit. Dude, and it's was... Mario Kart, dude. It's supposed to be kind of a clusterfuck. No, but even during the setup for this, you were telling me, "All right, uh, do you? What was that thing you kept saying? You were like, yeah, um, is your is your LAN set up or whatever? It's like, are you are you set up with your bandwidth? And I was like, what's a bandwidth? Yeah, your Ethernet. Yeah, uh, your Ethernet. I'm like, yeah, yeah this either... is what happens when I have a boomer. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Is your Ethernet set up? I'm like, yeah, man, either or. Fucking, let's get this show on the road. That's the thing, though, that, that I was really that was panicked. Not panicked, but, like, the part where you were like, all right, now click on the option... Uh, browse presets and i was like there is no browse presets you're like what the fuck are you talking about no browse pre and then you looked and you're like by god there's no browse presets that's the kind of shit that happens to me on the computer a lot is people will be like all right now because he had a you had a wrong version of dolphin exactly but that's so annoying when people are like all you have to do is press this option and i'm like uh, that option doesn't exist they're like oh well now we have to – all right, uh, you did step one, step two. Now we have to go back three steps and install the correct uh, piece of hardware. And, oh, actually, that hardware uh, is software. not compatible. Yeah, 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 the software. Oh, uh, the software is not compatible with your computer because uh, uh, it's a different uh, – you know, your, your computer hasn't been updated in a while. And I'm like, oh, God, this is going to be – you know, it's like untangling Christmas lights. And then by the time you untangle them all, you realize, oh, these lights don't work anymore, and they don't even work for the, the type of outlet that I have. You know what I mean? Yeah, like just dickheaded shit. Mm. The Proboscis Archive. Oh, there's a guy named the Proboscis uh, Archive. He, he... This is a perfect spot for you, is that you can reach chat. Yeah. 
oh yeah, I could just not, I could just not play the game. It's like not pay attention. It's great. Oh, there's a little dinosaur. Almost grazed us. Mm-hmm. Proboscis came into chat. Uh, not chat. He came into the the Discord. He's a member of the Onion Punch Discord now. Hmm. May God have mercy on his soul. He's a Darth. Yeah. What what kind of interesting, insightful messages are from chat recently? Um, uh, Alexa played Drift King by Club Doom. So nothing, nothing yet. Yeah. Nice to see that you're honking the horn. Oh, I'm honking the big fat horn. Yeah. Oh, is that what is that what it plays the thing when I do that? I like how they all have different <laughs> little uh, different idols animations when you do that. Yeah. Yeah, when you like try to throw an item, but there's no item, so it's just like a taunt. I think Wario punches. You can actually, ste- yeah, you can actually steal like an item from doing that. Oh, from another fun. racer, if you get like really close, then they'll do like a punch and they'll like yeah. jab at, jeer at the racer. Kick punch, it's all in the fucking mind. Yeah. Why are you so bad at this game? Well, I don't know. I it's been a while. It's been a, a bit of a, uh, it's been a bit of a tick. It's been a bit of a talk. Tick tock. Yeah. Not the not the website. The song. Yeah, it's on the clock and the party don't stop. No, 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 no. You set me up. You set me down. My heart it pounds now. You grind me. You up the down. What are the lyrics to that? It was a good song. I remember that I was song. Like, tick, talk, tick, talk. Dun, oh. dun, tick, talk, tick, talk. Oh, you weren't thinking it's of like the song. Oh, you weren't thinking of Kesha? No, I was thinking no. of that wonderful Kesha person. Yeah. She's a talented musician. Hi, there's I'm a, Daisy. There's a place downtown where the freaks all come around. It's a toll in the wall. It's a dirt. Okay. It's funny. You're it's funny. To... <laughs> she just like she just stole the, the like snake charmer song. Oh, I can hand you my I can hand you my item. I just realized if I press my item button, I can hand you my item that I have in my hand. Stop playing. Stop playing baby mode. Get to the gamer mode. Get to the yeah, gamer 150 game cc. Yeah. We gotta play 150 cc like this. Yeah. yeah, let's let's do that. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's play one. Let's play mirror mode in versus. Oh goodness. Yeah, 150 mirror mode. I like how it's called the grand my... the grand pricks. Grand pricks. You're yeah. a grand pricks. Your I'm mom's do... a grand pricks. Hey, that's not Todd. very nice. And bup, bup boys. A bup boy. What is this? What is this? A simple flips stream? What is this? Bup. A simple flips bup. reference? Bup. Mm. It's time We're to get reverse now. Time to get gamered, you silly, stupid little guy. <laughs> little oh, slut. I can't wait to start drifting again. Yeah, drift king, drift oh. king. Oh yeah. What are you drifting? Oh yeah. That's not very nice. Mm. What are you, orgasming? <laughs> Woo! Yeah, you see, because you faked every orgasm when I was in your cart. You were like, Goodly only Switch knows really. the... Goodly only knows the jackhammer. He thinks it's the best move. <laughs> he only knows how to... Use his hands. He doesn't know how to yeah. use his mouth or anything. Else. Oh, I don't know how to use my hands either. I'd be I'd be poking the clip with a stick. I'm like, what is this? What are we? What is this intercourse? Yeah, all right, I guess. What is this intercourse? Yeah. I feel like the person to say that to like a woman. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? You don't want you don't want somebody to be saying that. I feel like that implies that they just they what just figured this? out like halfway through. It's like, wait, are we having sex? You know, because that's Aww. not that's not a very good thing. That's a very you dark want, implication. You want somebody to know that, that they're having sex before you do it. That's just a little PSA. A little PSA for the kids. I no, mean, you, you just would <laughs> say that before it starts. I think Goodwill mm. would say that before it starts. Yeah, yeah. The Goodwill you character. Because, of you course, do, you're not like this in no. real life. You don't want to wake up and realize that you know, you're in the middle of it. 
No, I just assume that Goodwee's always just been doing a bit, no matter what. Oh, yeah. Well, no. Well, no, I'm not... really committed to the role of, like, a buffoon. <laughs> I have absolutely... That's... Well, you'd think that. You would absolutely think that, unfortunately. <laughs> uh... I have morons on my team. Yeah. That is the great thing about being on the internet, is you could be like, oh, no, I'm absolutely... Uh, this hey, whole thing is a seven. character. Oh, boy. Seventh place. It's pronounced this Grand Prix. No stars Grand pronounced. Grand Pricks. No, yeah, it's the not. Grand, the Grand Pricks. Pricks. Because everyone in it is a prick. Grand Pricks, you fuck. They're yeah, snooty. we're all pricks. Mario Kart's full of pricks. They're Drunk snooty. Mario Kart's going to be funny. Snooty elitists. I'll play this game. Drunk Mario Kart. It's drunk driving. If you can't get your fix on drunk driving in real life, you just play Mario Kart drunk. Yeah, and the That's whole a time... That's way to go back. I'm going to mute the Mario Kart, the actual music, and it's just going to be on a loop that uh, Uncle Adams. Put the key keys down. Put the key keys down. All you got to do is... It's going to be great. Were you there for the Uncle Adams? Uh, we saw I that. I think that, so. Yeah. I think so. He was completely well, I mean, serious. I probably wasn't there physically, but I was like... That's the funniest thing like he's, there. he's ever there. done. It's like this Eminem-style rapper who's got a big smile on his face, but he's like talking seriously about you don't want to go to the liquor store because you'll be acting goofy drop the joint he dropped the joint and then god damn i don't know what the fuck he was thinking you missed yassi you bastard mm -hmm. my favorite part of that music video of, of that song is that the the dude who drank the the drunk driver oh fuck me i'm just I'm driving into everything. He actually got arrested for DEI a bit. Oh, he probably... Yeah, ah, no, he's like an inspirational rapper. That's why oh, he's doing Christian it. Christian rap. Kind of. It's like Christian rap without the Christianity. You know how some people say, oh, this looks like it was shot... This Moral is like a... rap. Yeah, yeah. It's like, this is like a porno, but they forgot to shoot the porn. It's like, this guy is a Christian rapper, but he forgot about the Christianity part. He's just like a weirdly there, positive is there a guy. Two player mod of like single player Pikmin one. I don't know. There, there probably, has to be. I know there's a mod of Bingo Battle that has more options, which we gotta play the shit out of that. No, I want to play Pikmin one's like main campaign in like two player. That would be the mm. sickest shit. I'm pretty sure they have it. They have to have Pikmin two with two player. Because I'd play the shit out of that Pikmin one, yeah. like a Pikmin one. Let's play on this yeah. channel, but it's like. A live LP of like, you know, you go do stuff, I go do stuff. Yeah. It kind of made me a little bit depressed seeing just how, like, faded and gray the color palette to Pikmin 1 is. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, well, they were probably going for more realism. Yeah, they were, yeah. But the thing is, like, Luigi's Mansion went for realism, and I feel like Luigi's Mansion. No, that's is not more... realism. That's cartoony. It's cartoony, but the textures are pretty realistic. I mean, compared to Luigi. Well, that's because they fully went into dark. Here, they're trying to have, like, a bright, sunny day, generally speaking. Okay. But it's, like, but in Pikmin's case, it's more realistic, like, textures, mm -hmm. like, ground textures, and you see more of that, and you're mm -hmm. closer to the ground, so you don't see the sky as much. I think uh, Proboscis uh, is answering our question. There is, but last time I checked, it is it wasn't finished. So I think, you know, that's on the way. No oh, shit, sure, we gotta play it, then. We could try that. There's this thing that I played uh, a while ago where it was uh, every cave in Pikmin 2, but it's one single cave. And you can find every oh, treasure shit. in it. Yeah. That'd be pretty sick, actually. I, I wouldn't mind seeing that as like a single player modded stream. No, yeah. Well, I, I played it. Uh, I used to have it installed. Um, but then I deinstalled it. There's a bunch of different options. Like, you can get... You can have a version where you only have a certain set amount of Pikmin, and, and that's it. But then there's an option where you can, like... It's almost like a fucking dungeon crawler, too, because, like, you can find uh, different That's kind onions. of what Pikmin 2 was, initially. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess I think it's more like it's a roguelike. Yeah, it's more Binding of Isaac than anything. Yeah. yeah. It's Binding of Isaac, but, like, you can... If you turn on onion mode, like, you can find onions, and then that's how you make more Pikmin. And then you can make, like... They have an option for, like, purple and white onions, too, which I, of course, had that on, like, always. It's kind of cheating, but, I mean, that game mode cheats, too. That game mode is really hard. 
Oh, fuck me. I keep fucking you with those Koopa shells. I hit you with all of those. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna kill you. Did I'm I? gonna come up there Did and I? kill no, you. No, 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 never mind. Never mind, you're not Daisy. I'm pretty sure I bumped into all of those with my own accord. Was this in the DS game? Like, yeah, really? the, yeah, this had a DS version. Oh, yeah, they remade it. Yeah. It's so weird how they have, like, legacy courses, but the, the, the ones that they choose and don't choose uh, are completely, like, random. Not random. Yeah, they like, kind of... Well, no, it's like if this course hasn't been remade yet, then they'll, like, yeah. remake it. Yeah. First place, I'm stealing it last second. But, like, are there certain courses that have been remade multiple times in Mario Karts, and then some courses that, like, never show back up again? Uh, a lot of Super Nintendo courses haven't been remade yet. Yeah. A lot of Super Circuit tracks haven't been remade yet. Yeah. Was Chocolate uh, Mountain? I think or... I, was uh, Chocolate every Mountain? single thing from 64 was remade. Choco Mountain was remade back in DS and in 8 Deluxe. Was Choco Mountain um, from 64 or was that? Yeah, that was from 64. I think, with the exception of, I think, one course, if not, that may not be the case anymore because I think that was pre DLC when this was said. But every course from 64 has been remade in some game or another. Because mm. that's like the most iconic like set of courses. I'm gonna like, fucking sort of, like, the kill you. Bowser's Castles. I'm like, gonna fucking Rainbow kill you Road, this like time. Jeez. The... Oh, yeah, good luck. This is a fucking hard game. Oh, no. oh fuck, it's the bridge. Man, this, isn't, again. Even, this isn't even an entertaining kind of terrible. This is just like, oh, let's, let's watch Goodly Suck at Mario Kart. With, Honestly, with little to no. Uh, I don't think we've said anything. Oh, so I we gotta say we gotta start saying really funny shit. Though I don't think we've said anything that. Fu I feel oh. like we've said enough funny <laughs> shit. I feel Did like you the see... audience are just ungrateful. Did They're you see that? I people. just the fucking geyser hit me and then I fell to the to the bottom of that pit, that cavernous ravine. Yeah. Don't oh, get hit by geysers. Just don't get hit. Duh. Don't get hit. Well, I'm too busy talking shit. Which, unfortunately... Talking mad shit. That leads to getting hit. I was in fourth place at one point in this race. Now I'm in I'm eighth. in fifth. Oh, you're in fifth. You're in fifth. Oh, how terrible. Let me play you a song on the world's saddest violin. No, I wasn't. I was just commenting that I was in fifth. Oh, Dickhead. yeah. I'm no. in seventh now. So don't worry. Oh, good. That's very Although good. Although it looks like I'm staying in seventh because you're not catching up. Oh, no. No, I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Oh, fuck me! I, I specifically slowed down to avoid falling off the bridge. You gotta hit the brake. You gotta hit... You gotta There's hit a brake? The B button exists. Yeah. B. There's a fucking B... Motherfucker. It's just like driving in real life. It's why I suck at it. Yeah, all right, E minor, yeah! Oh. yeah. God damn. <coughs> oh, fuck me. Goodness gracious. How wide your turns are in this game. Yeah, I don't like my wide turns. You can hear the clap of my ass cheeks every time I turn in this game. Yeah, Koopa Troopa's hot, sexy yeah. ass. It's disgusting. I'm sure that there is that exact uh, that exact. Oh comment. no, it exists. Oh yeah, yeah. Seen it somewhere on E two six one, whatever horrible website or for affinity or whatever. Rule thirty four dot com. So does anybody else really get turned on whenever they see like Koopa Troopa do his little dance? Does anybody else? I get do. A really big spot in their pants. Big cause... fucking stiffy and or wet because we don't discriminate. Yeah, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with me for enjoying. You know the the Koopa Troopa's little dance. There's nothing wrong with me forgetting a little heated yeah, shake that, in my pants. Shake that man ass. Yeah. Shake that turtle ass. The shell shaker. Give me that shell shaker. Take Give me your the hands Koopa off. Shaker. <laughs> Take your hands off it and shake that shit. It's horrible. Koopa Chad died eight years ago. It's actually Joey wearing his skin. Yeah, that yeah. sounds like something Joey would do. He would say something really like racist about Asian people, and then he would scamper off. 
You'd run away like a little pussy. It's like, wow, Kuko, I don't, you know, you don't usually seem like the type of person oh, to call yourself dude. racial slurs. I don't We're know why you're doing Baby Park, by the way. Oh, no, I hate Baby Park. Fucking chaos in this yeah. game. Goodness gracious. Yeah, we got like seven different laps. I feel like seven somebody, laps. I feel like with this specific stage, somebody didn't want to do their job and they're like, uh, what if it's like uh, an oval shaped uh course it's just a straight line dude i hit you with the blue show that's like the first time to stream i did that i oh i'm going the wrong way i got you literally i kuko used uh kuko used confusion the orb of confusion yeah. well, that'd be great they have to have an item in mario kart at some point where it like reverses controls do they have that? Yeah, they gotta do that. They gotta do that. Yeah. One day they will. And then that's the thing is One eventually, eventually somebody will get so good at driving with reverse controls that it'll have like little to no effect on them. Yeah. That'll it'll be there. Like, oh, time to. It's like aviator controls. Yeah. It's like if if you faced off against him in competitive Mario Kart, that would be his thing he's known for. It's like, yeah, you might as well just turn off that item, because he can he can drive reverse in his sleep. Oh, jeez. We gotta play Star Fox Assault with the yeah. multiplayer. Yeah. And that, that's on the GameCube. Yeah. Star Fox Asphalt. Star Fox Assault. I prefer Star Fox Consent. Yeah. yeah. Star Fox is... Star like... Fox Say No. Yeah. Star Fox... Uh... via the Wii Virtual Console like this. Yeah. The Wii Virtual Console? Oh, that, yeah. that's yeah, oh, that's yeah, that's how you play N sixty four games like this. Okay, how many N sixty four games do they have on there? Do they have uh, Yoshi's Story? All the essentials. Yes, they do have Yoshi's Story. I like Yoshi's Story. That's pretty fun. That's kind of a fun game. You got a finger it's very, blast. It's actually a hard game if you like go for a hundred percent. Yeah. I remember when I got that game, I got it used, so all of the levels were already unlocked, and I was like, what's even the point of playing this shit? Like, what? The, the thing is, I still had fun with it, though. Like, I tried to play the first level. I No, I tried to play the last level. Oh, that they was have the Smash 64 on here. Oh, that's kind of fun. I oh, never played... oh, yeah, we can play Melee on Slippy, like this. I've never really if played... If you want to uh... get destroyed in Melee. What is Slippy, anyway? Uh, it's like, it's rollback netcode from Melee, because oh, okay. instead of just running it on, like, Dolphin like this, you can just do, like, a matchmaking service, and you can just do, like, a friend thing, like a friend invite. Okay. To, like, Slippy, without having to set up anything, it just runs a custom build of Dolphin that's specifically meant for Slippy. Okay, that's kind of fun. Yeah, maybe, it's I've like never... custom netcode. I've never played the N64 uh, Smash Brothers. It was Melee for me. That was my yeah, first. Yeah, everybody played Melee. I played Melee. Yeah. Why did you go back? Or DX, as we call it. You can go back. Yeah, why did you go back and play the 64 version? Because I wanted to see where it started, and I think 64 is a really interesting game. Yeah. It's really cool, actually. It, it, it actually has a really fun, like, fighting system. It's very yeah. basic, but it's very charming for, like, its era. Exactly, yeah. My friend was talking about that, where he's like, this was before things got really fucking complicated, and you had all these like, very specific moves you had to do. It was back when... It was when... probably the most novelty of, like, a Nintendo... Yeah. Like, Nintendo characters, like, fighting and not a bunch of sweaty yeah. people playing Smash. It was like, yeah, back before they had all the items turned off, Donkey Kong was just, like, a piece of cardboard. You looked like a big piece of fucking cardboard, and you just smashed people. Dude, Smash 64 actually has only one tournament legal stage, and that's Dreamland. Really? That's like the one stage that has always been tournament legal yeah. in every Smash game because it's no. legal in Melee, it's legal in Smash 4, it's legal in Ultimate. Yeah, but that was before, you know, words like tournament legal. That was just, you just play the game and you shut up. Yeah, I Ooh. mean, Melee early on had like half of its stage legal, like Pokefloats was legal yeah. in the early yeah. days. And people said, we can't have any fun, we can't have any fun. Make Pokefloats illegal, make all these stages illegal. Let's just have FD, yeah. Battlefield, uh, Dreamland 64, which is fun because that has Wispy. Are you ready for um, a... Kuko, are you ready for a Smash Brothers players joke? 
Yeah, I'm ready. Well, maybe um, let's have it. Uh, well, they don't think any of the cool stages should be legal, but they do think 16 should be. Kind of. Oh, a, that's foul. Kind of, kind of a pedophile joke, you know, just a little. That's, that's a little okay, fun. that's funny. I was expecting like a lame dad joke. No, no, that's a base joke. It's a that's horrible, funny ass joke. It's a sick thing that I just said. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's a good thing you just said. I'm glad you said it. Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. That was a waste of a Koopa shell. Yeah. It was a waste of a life. Waste of a life. Playing GameCube games on a Sunday night. On stream. Yeah, on stream. What the hell? With what the hell are we doing? A little Asian guy. Yeah, a little Asian. What are you calling yourself a little Asian guy for? Little, I, a silly little Asian guy just I, hanging around. Not even he, a fully Asian. He's like half. Yeah. That's the thing is you're like Little Mac and I'm like King Hippo. But like in an alternate universe where we're friends. Yeah, it's just like. Do you know how to box? Yep. Yeah, I know. I actually bought boxing gloves the other day. Oh, that's fucking cool as shit. I'm learning how to do that. One day we yeah, meet I'm up. Yeah, I'm going to be the lightweight champion. Yeah, and I'll be the heavyweight champion. Yeah, and so there'll can... be no, like, competition. Wow. I mean, you well, could... no competition between us. I mean, you so could I jump can... around. You could do that fucking thing. Because with, uh, with lightweight boxers, you're supposed to, like, leap around and jump around the stage. But heavyweight boxers, they're just supposed to stand there and hit people. Yeah, and right? just, like, tank a hit. Yeah. That's the thing, though, is, uh, you know... It's I do like keep... a lightweight versus a heavyweight. That's typically not allowed. Yeah, I do keep uh, being told by my coach that I do have to like use my feet more. I've got to use because apparently when you punch, you've got to turn your heel. When you when you punch, when yeah, you punch with your right, add a little bit of extra oomph. Yeah, and I don't think I do that manually. I do that like like I'm doing it, but I don't think I'm doing it like with control. I'm just doing it. He's like, oh yeah, I got to turn my foot. I don't know what that does, but yeah, I'll turn that. It's good stance. It's good posture. I'm just typically. doing it for show. I'm not doing it like it's not in tune with my hands yet. And then you're going to do that thing where you're like jogging it. But it's funny. Every time I learn about certain you're things, gonna be I'm like, like 10K roll from DK64. No, that's how I see myself. But the thing is like when, when you're like, yeah, you got to like run over, you got to bounce around. You got to use those legs. You got to use those legs. And I'm like, is that where the stance came from? I'm like, this is just like Mortal Kombat. You're doing the stance. You're doing the fucking like, yeah, the like fighting. the uppercut. Yeah. The oh. <gasps> no. Because that's the thing. He'll Come say here. like, he'll say like, we got to do left. We got to do right. We got to do one, two, three, and then one, and then two, four, six. And I'm like, what is this DDR? I got to memorize combinations of punches. What the fuck? Yeah, I just thought I like had to hit. Combo, right? Yeah, I had to hit people. I just thought I had to hit people really hard. A combination, as the IRL people, as the IRL players would say, yeah, the IRL I... PVPers would say, a combination of moves. I don't think people. Well, you know, I don't really. Not a combo though. I don't really watch wrestling or boxing. I don't think I've ever heard anyone use the term combination. He's using a combination. He just yeah, killed he's using that motherfucker. Yeah. He just killed. He just zero to death. Yeah. I killed this whole family. I used a combination of a gun and my gun hatred for humanity. Up smash. Yeah. And, uh, up, oh, that up smash. That forward smash. I destroyed some kid in IRL PvP. Yeah. yeah. I just grabbed him by the fucking forehead and flung him across the room. For his smash yeah, ability, man. what was that fucking meme it was like for the Persona guy? For his smash ability, he wields a gun. Yeah, he wields a gun. Yeah, that Joker, yeah. Jonkler, if you yeah, will. Yeah, the Jonkler, yeah. That gay Persona game that nobody plays. Who the F likes Persona? Yeah, for... Dude, I just got fucking... Dude, what the fuck? Dude, I literally got fucked up by, like, a blue, a red shell, then a blue shell, then a yeah. fucking, uh, like, a lightning. We gotta go back and replay that. Yeah. After stream. Squad I literally like, got like three weight, and I got like the full hit too. I got fully stun locked. Yeah. All three times, not like it didn't cancel it out. No, it just it was like I happened to exit my invincibility frames at that like twice in a row at that exact same time. Yeah. 
This is a scary Why is game. Why just punishing me? This is a scary combination of games. This plays when I'm on the highway, this music. It goes... Again, I have to reiterate, the, the chat right now is just hearing Coconut Mall in the loop. Yeah, I mean, that also plays when I'm, like, in, like, a, in like a school zone. Goodly, are you... 100 miles an hour and trying to run down people. Goodly, are you just getting into boxing for material for Onion Punch? Yeah, you'd think that, Mushroom. It's more just, like, <laughs> everything I write in my comic happens to me in real life. It's like that one dude that wrote a comic using, like, sigil magic. And I mean, then he ended Chris. up... Oh, what's Chris? Christian. Christian. No, no, no. There's this one dude, he was, like, really into the yeah, occult. Yeah, this is Goodly Sonic, too. No. Well, I mean, yeah, it kind of is. Let's be honest, it kind of is. But... Except here, it's actually a lot more originally yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, no, I just combined... Like, Chris combined Sonic and Pikachu. I was like, what if Little Mac was a VeggieTale? What if, what if Dude, Little what Mac if, was, like, like, a vegetable? What if, like... What if, like, Community Con, and I, like, show up, and I'm in, like, a... And I'm in, like, a Bianco costume. I'm just yeah. shirtless. With, like, a... With, like, a fucking, like, a 5 o'clock shadow with, like, boxing gloves. Yeah. And just, like, shorts. Fuck Community Con. I want my own con. I want... I want Goodly yeah, Con. Yeah, Goodly I want Con. Onion we'll Punch call con. Onion Punch Con. Onion yeah. Con. Community Con. You're getting eco people it's showing up. At House. You get eco people showing up. You get rogue people showing up. I don't think so. I want you get Goodly precinct Con. precinct people showing up. You get precinct people, people showing up. Oh, precinct people. Yeah, we all just... Uh, we start... You hear the, the sharks and the jets music starts playing. Da -na 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 -na. Hmm. Do -do 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 -do. And then yeah. me and you, good, we were just standing in the middle. We're like, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah. We didn't invite all these people. We didn't invite anyone. Yeah, we, it was only just for me and him to hang out at Waffle House. And yeah. Paladin. It's like, we brought all these guns. We were going to shoot them off in the, in the middle of nowhere. It's like, well, why, are you, why are you here? I just got a single grill with two hot dogs for me and Kuko. No, we're at Waffle House. No, we're just at Waffle House. We're at the Waffle House. Oh, That's where no. the first community con's at. That's where that's where the brawls start happening. Somehow I'm like the one yeah. person that barely escapes without yeah. like nothing more than like a black eye. Everybody yeah. else is like put in the hospital. No, They're I feel all like waiting to fight each other IRL. I feel like you could like handle yourself in a fight. Like you would you wouldn't like throw yourself no, I just in there. Wouldn't fight anybody. You wouldn't yeah, fight. No, I just stand there and watch. No, yeah. And laugh. Well, you know, they say when you learn self-defense, it's for not getting into a fight. It's not for getting into yeah, a fight. Yeah, it's for not getting into a fight. It's yeah. to end a fight early. Which I like, feel so like... it's like if a guy tries to, like, get at you, you just, like, break their neck. Yeah. Which is funny, because I feel like the moment I'm, I start getting really good at boxing, I'm going to have to fight the urge to just, like, punch people. That's not good. Yeah, you will. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like you'll learn self-defense, but you'll have more violent tendencies. Yeah, I'm like, oh, now I have this thing. Yeah, it's it's the great paradox of it all. It's the great... Uh, yeah, the, well, it's great power comes great responsibility sort of deal. Yeah, it's the old cone, the old Buddhist cone. You learn to kill people, and now you can't kill people, and you have to fight the urge to kill people. But you learned how to kill people. I don't think Buddha said that, but you know what I mean. You know what you know what I mean. It's one of those riddles, you know, one of those uh, enigmas. I'd fight Joey though. I would yeah. fight Joey. No, Joey would Joey would freak that out of anyone. He'd brag about it too. He'd be like, I got you to fight me. I got you to fight. It's like you didn't even win the fight. You got a black you eye. Joey wouldn't be fucking alive to brag about it. No. Me. Don't kill Joey. Don't murder Joey. Well, no, like I just that. rip out his voice box. Oh, don't fucking do that. I'll He's let gonna, him live. Don't worry. It's gonna be like the robots joke. You know, you ever you ever see that wonderful movie by Blue Sky Studios? I think I have. I right, think it, I actually, or at least I've seen bits of it. Right. It was the city full of robots, and right the the main guy wanted to be like a mechanic or something, and there was this one character who was part of the main cast, and his whole thing. We're is joking, by the way. I'm being silly. I'm not yeah. actually gonna hurt Joey. Yeah, the dude who couldn't find a voice I box. I stream with him. Yeah. You know, the one dude who couldn't find a voice box and he kept, like, getting new voice boxes that sounded, like, slightly different. He was like, nah, that one doesn't work. That one doesn't work. There's probably some really cursed shit in chat while we're racing. Yeah. Oh, or it's like, the, I think that was a subplot in, I've never played Sonic Colors. 
I've never played Sonic People of Color, but oh, I yeah, know that, that yeah, was... Oh, yeah, Q-Bot. Q-Bot, Q-Bot was, yeah. was, like, a hick, and then a cowboy, and then, like, yeah. a sailor, and then a pirate, and then, like... Yeah. Then he sounded normal by yeah. the end of the game. And then he sounded like a dumb guy, you know, because he's the dumb guy. Yeah, that's his normal voice. Even though Orbot, you know, is Orbot that particularly smart? No, Orbot's pretty smart. Oh. Are we smart in a room of idiots? He's like the smartest. Yeah, he's like a C three. Is he smart or is he just a pris, uh, a prissy little prick who doesn't want to get his hands dirty? No, he's actually okay. Like he's actually like fairly smart. Like he okay. actually knows like computers. Again, he was built first by Eggman. Proboscis goes. Like, put all uh, the intelligence. I have the it's urge like to one's punch people. The brains ones meant to be the brawn. Okay, yeah, and then uh, Proboscis says, "I have the urge to punch people whenever I hear Pop goes the weasel." Is that Pop supposed goes to... the weasel. Is that because he's a monkey? Is it all around the mulberry bush? The monkey chased the weasel. And then he wrote, Pop goes the weasel. Oh, is that what it meant by Pop? I oh, he was punching out that weasel. Yeah, that's what I did to. That's what I did to your mom last night. Oh, punch out your mom. Don't punch out my after mom. After I. After I did your mom last yeah. night. She was just like, her. oh man, she was just like, Kuko, I want you to punch me hard in the face. I yeah. hope she doesn't see this. She was into it. Yeah. Yeah, I there, hope she does see it. There's a 99% chance she's going to watch this stream later. And I'm be like, <laughs> hey, he didn't mean it. Oh, He's... she watched. Did, did she, she doesn't. talk about like any of us? What did she think? I think she watched. Co-host? I think she only watches like, she watched the one, the Dig Dug one. She was like, oh yeah, you know, that's kind of funny. It's it's one of those things where she does she is well she's very supportive of everything I do, but I don't think it's a good idea for her to watch these, you know. And I think she kind of knows. Yeah, that because too. it's so raunchy. Yeah, it's so raunchy and, and raw. Like I told her about uh, one of Star's ideas where Star was like, "Oh, we could just watch like my big fat stupid idiot life," and my mom, being <laughs> a mom, was like, "Oh, that's I don't I don't like that. I don't like that you're gonna make fun of people online." And I'm like, "Yeah, I would never do Thank that, you. mom." I would, I would never, never make do that. Fun of people. I would never do just a middle, I, Someone in chat's gonna be like, "I know Goodwee's mom. I'm gonna show this to her." Yeah, uh, message her. But the thing is that I showed. I I told my dad, and like we were making fun of my mom. I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, she wouldn't like you doing that." Would you? Oh, that's funny though. Uh, you should... He's into it. He he likes the idea of me making fun of fat people. I mean, not. But that's because the dads are always the funny ones. Yeah, the dads are all yeah. I tried to tell him, because this is the thing, is I was kind of desperate for, I was a little bit doing the attention-seeking thing. Validation. I, I finished the the Chris Chan meme, the like the Mickey Mouse one, and uh, I, I wanted to show somebody, so I was like, yeah, you, you want to see this? And then I tried to, like, this was a terrible fucking idea, because I, I didn't tell her about any of the really, really bad stuff with Chris, but I was like, okay, so basically bottom line, this, this like guy, goofy guy, I was like, bottom line, this is an idiot. And he thought that his thing was turned on and he showed pictures of his house, the outside of his house. And she still was like, Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. That guy has problems. Why are you making fun of him? That like, bitch, that <laughs> bitch, princess peach fucking put, like got frozen by the ice, by the freezy from like Mario mm-hmm. brothers arcade. Well, I'm glad and you're fucking, not like sent it into me. That Bitch. <laughs> I thought you were calling my mom a bitch for it. I was like, wait a minute. Hold on. No, I'm talking about Princess Peach. That no, bitch worry. not thinking that Chris Chan is funny. How fucking and dare no. she? No, 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 no. I, I Trust me, I don't really find Chris really funny. Anymore. At least not current Chris. If we go back in time, then it's yeah. like, okay, then I'll find like old stuff funny. I feel like it's, it's weird. Like, I don't, I, to me, it was like once 20, like... 2018 rolled around i think it's really stopped being funny it's horrible like, I mean, to it say stopped being funny before then but it really stopped being funny by that point because it was just you knew that she was just gone yeah the the thing is it's horrible to say but old christian videos are nostalgic now in the same way that like yeah. playing luigi's mansion is or like looking yeah, because at because old... you of better times oh yeah yeah it does and you go back to, like, old streams back when old Chris was around and they would watch, yeah. like, old Chris videos when they were, like, no. at least fairly new. Yeah. And you'd be like, oh, I remember these streams. Good times. We Which streams? about JoJo's. No, I, I don't. Uh, we... uh, no, no streamers. Just, you know, old, old No, the videos. Corrupted Gaming Show. Like, oh, the Corrupted, yeah. The first right. people to... 
damn straight. Yeah, corrupted. I remember like those streams when they were new. I really hope that guy didn't, because like it was concerning because the dude kept talking about like his cancer treatment, and I'm like, man, he's I think not he's showing. Okay. I think he still yeah. does stuff. No, because it was really concerning. Because oh, he's well, he doesn't seem to be showing up on the streams anymore. I hope he's okay. Oh, he's just been busy. Yeah. Oh, like that's the good. main guy's fine. Now I'm not it's worried fine. about him. Yeah, now I'm not worried about him. Now I'm jealous of him for being I think busy. he got better. At least I think he got better. Unless I'm a fucking, like, filthy liar and their yeah. wife just makes a liar out of me. Yeah. That really was... I think that was one of the funniest ones, the Corrupted Gaming Show. And there was also the webcomic relief. No, but they relief. actually... But there was, like, the first, like, real time that I guess a documentary, in quotation marks, it was more like a bunch of, like six yeah. to seven hour long live stream they basically watched like every christian video yeah. up until that point which was well, like back in 2015 yeah but that's the thing though is like they had to this is why uh sonichu isn't a great uh comic even ironically because in order to understand what's going on you, you have need... to listen to christian yeah you need to know the comprehensive history of this guy's life which one of the great and, you things know, even is, the condensed version from Gino Samuel or even Sachimo, which yeah. is like a three hour documentary. Yeah. You know, it, but the, it's the, still not it's not an easy thing to get into. No, but the great thing about being an artist, if you're a good artist, you can take things that happened in your life and, you know, put them into your art. And that doesn't mean that people need to know about your life to understand the story you're telling. It's just you are crafting you're like weaving your own personal experiences into yeah but chris is so inexplicable you have to get context yeah in order to it for because sweethearts will literally change like yeah. in between like pages yeah. and it's because it's like oh this page was actually made like yeah. months after this page yeah and he didn't bother thinking about continuity it was just no. like oh yeah they'll figure it out because they assume yeah. that he you were watching his videos imagine having uh, like subplots in your comic and having to stop do them stop doing them because your mom was like Chris you can't you can't be just putting your own life into the comic this makes you look really bad that's what happened right like he had the the little yeah. love quest sagas where yeah. it was about him and not Sonichu and honestly I think that was Chris at his most endearing there yeah kind of which I know fucked up as that sounds huh. but in a sense you know you kind of are like I wouldn't say you feel bad. No, you're still are like absolutely horrified at like yeah. how Chris. This is how Chris actually sees the world. I feel like, but Wolf... it's at least interesting. It adds a bit of endearingness to it because he would like do like goofy jokes and stuff. So it's still yeah. like interesting and entertaining. I feel like during that time, like the lol cow community, like lol cows in general were much more wholesome because it used to be like the people that were were made fun of were not like serial killer level evil they were all just like yeah. this guy goofy is, people yeah it's goofy people that were being and mildly dicks. degenerate like people yeah. that didn't have a job or a it's, life outside of yeah it's like hey this guy's being kind of a dick but also he's really funny unintentionally let's look at more of this guy let's look at more of how goofy he's being but now lol cows yeah, have and become like decent people at the end of the day yeah, well, speaking. at least not comparatively even... speaking to the wall cows of today, like so the wall cows of back then, a lot of the times were actually yeah. like fairly decent. Like Dark Side Phil in general yeah. is not a complete scum ass piece of shit. He's not a bad like, guy. You know, like Daniel Larson. He's just a like, no. you know, uh, and I think like Keemstar had said something during the wall cow podcast or something like that. But like, you know, Wings of Redemption does a lot of charity work, like off stream. Yeah. He's not a he bad dude. He doesn't tell anybody. He just says stupid shit is the thing. Like it used yeah, to be, he just does hey, stupid shit. and there was no like moral, moral grandstanding. It was just, hey, look at the stupid shit this stupid guy is saying. Look at how over the top yeah. dumb. But now yeah, it's, be but now yeah, it's the guy become, laughing at him doesn't claim to be any better either. No, and now what's become is like, hey, look at this complete degenerate who's like grooming children and and talking about and like, like killing people yeah killing people like it's it's just become pedo watch it's become like 24 hour yeah, and it's pedo people watch. being like that don't even like feel morally obligated yeah. to deal with that it's like a glory thing to them no like yeah they're ex hunting for sport no that, that's like what they it don't is. care about kids no and and what it what it is is it's almost even worse because it's not even the glory it's hey look a toy like they they treat these people like toys because they're like here's a guy we can make fun of and not feel bad about at money. all because they've already gone beyond the pale of what is acceptable like that was always a part of lolcow uh people is that like 
you don't go after someone who's just being goofy. You go after someone who's being goofy and is also a dick. Because Chris is a dick. Dark side Phil yeah, is a dick. Yeah, he was a dick. But they're just yeah. dicks at the end of the day. They're not, like, irredeemable people. Well, now for Chris. Chris eventually became irredeemable. Though. Now it's become these people that are complete fucking sociopaths that want to, like, dox people and find information. But they found people who you literally cannot defend. Because they're just... Yeah. And you see that shit. Like, there were people that we know that, like, Daniel Larson got out of prison. And people were being all ironic and being like, Oh, yeah, Daniel's out of prison. Ooh, Daniel. Free my boy. I'm like, no, that's horrible. No, that's horrible. We want him in prison. We want people like that in prison behind fucking bars. So that society doesn't. Getting mental help at the very least. No, but you don't. But if you're a low-cal guy, you don't want that because then your toy is taken away from you. You know? My toy is broken. I can't play with it anymore. Yeah. Now I don't get to tell this person. People are excited about Cobra's relationship because it's like, oh, it's not because they're worried about it's not you know they they're not horrified that oh cobra is mm-hmm. with a potentially bad person yeah it's like no they're 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 like cheering them on because that'll give them more yeah. interesting streams in the short term and the funny thing is i say that but then i will still like watch yeah to be fair though at least cobra's content. at least entertaining yeah enough he because he's like kind of in that in between of like he's a fucking loser i'd say he's like worse than dsp but yeah but he's I don't not think as bad he's as worse. Like Chris, like by like post twenty twenty one, or you know, like a Daniel Orson. Like he's bad, but he ain't that bad. In That's comparison. the thing about Cobra is he's a loser, but he's not like a bad person. I don't know what happened. I think did he like? Yeah, kind of happen? a scumass, but yeah. I don't even. I don't even call him scummy. I just think Cobra is a perfect example. Of like an older, like 2010, 2009 lol cow, where it's not that he's a bad person. He's standoffish, but he's just kind of pathetic. He's kind of like a twerp. And, you know, I mean, he does bad shit. He does bad shit, but it's not that bad. It's just like him being a jerk. Like, yeah, it's not that bad in comparison to like molesting. Yeah. He he is responsible for shit that probably the people that watching uh, that that watch him are responsible for, just being a. I mean, a Music dick. Biz Marty, I'd say, is actually worse than fucking Cobra. Yeah, well, that's the thing about Music Biz Marty is like, if Music Biz Marty is a good example of somebody who's you know just again you you can never really criticize him too hard because he's going up against Cyrax, but like he. Let, he he lived out the dream of every motherfucker by being able to like say, "Hey, I I fucking beat the shit out of Cyrex. I beat the shit out of a, a like a pedophile that molested a blind kid." And yet he's still not satisfied with it. He's yeah, instead he's like, going dude, after I, other people. He's like, "Oh, he's he's trying to go after other trolls." And it's sad because he's trying to chase a high that he'll never get back again. He's chasing the dragon. Maybe it's like you do it once, and it's like. I don't know. It's not for glory. I don't like. I wouldn't like to do that if I yeah. beat the shit out of a pedophile or something. It's like yeah. I don't. Hopefully, I never have to do that again, or yeah. at least not with the same person. And here's the thing: if you like, when, when it comes to stuff like that, we're probably I'm getting, getting into. We're probably getting into. Shit. We're probably getting into dangerous territory here, or whatever. But like, when it comes to that sort of shit, I I am of the belief of like, if if you are talking so much shit about how. That kind of thing is a big problem. If you find one of those guys, call don't the just police. call the police. But no, but the thing is, the way people talk on the internet, they talk this big tough guy game. So I'm like, all right, if you want to talk that much about how you hate like this person, kill him. Fight. Just go to or his house him. and kill him. No, don't fight him. Just kill. No, because it's if if somebody like that exists and they've already like offended, then. Just take a fucking broadsword. Yeah, be a snicker, vigilante. Yeah, snicker snack. Chop their head off. But every – yeah, like if you're talking like that, but every single person, uh, they have the excuse. You're like, being like, oh, I'm going to kill you or whatever. Yeah. Just do it, pussy. Just yeah. fucking do it. Yeah, and then it becomes, well, I don't want to go to jail though, so I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to talk about that. It's like, well, then uh, stop talking you, about doing it. Then you don't actually you're not believe in justice then because if you don't believe in justice like that, you, you shouldn't uh, be scared of jail. Yeah, it's isn't wasn't there a Game of Thrones thing like that was the beginning of Game of Thrones. I think you would be respected in prison. You'd probably be treated yeah. pretty well in prison if you killed a pedophile. Yeah. Remember, yeah. prisoners hate pedophiles. Yeah, exactly. I think it's like the Game of Thrones thing where like you see the uh, the dude like uh, I forget what it is. It's like he escapes like the Night Watch. He no, he leaves his post because he sees a White Walker. 
And then the king executes him for it. And then he goes back to his kid. He's like, you see why I chopped that guy's head off? It's because I gave the sentence. So I need to carry out the execution. You know? But you yeah, don't have... You're be judge, jury, and executioner. Yeah. You're going to be judge, jury, and then you better be ready to be an executioner. Yeah. You're going to act all hard and be like, I'm judge, Judy, jury, and executioner. I'm judge, it's Judy, like, and executioner. Know, don't, just, don't just be judge and jury. It's like, be judge, yeah. jury, and executioner. I'm the judge. I'm the Judy. I'm the dancing lobsters. Jury. I'm sorry, yeah. Judy. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. I, I That would be great if you just see... Uh, you know, there's like a live stream where some guy, some guy like kills a pedophile and then he's like, all right, bring in the dancing lobsters. And they all come out. Bring, in the dan- bring out the lobster. Bring out the lobsters. Bring out the whole ocean. Yeah. Damn. I guess I kind of have a similar stance to like how Brain sees it. Yeah. Because then he thinks like the Lyle Convoy stuff is kind of like silly. And like, yeah. It's, it's LARPy. It's like, like you're it's LARPy. Like you're not. You're larping over. It's like you're over... trying to be Batman, but like a fucking loser, like a fat yeah. ass that plays with Gundam. No, yeah. plays with toys and shit. Exactly. It's crazy. I've noticed you're getting better. Oh, at the. Uh, I like Mario how Kart? it's like we had this big discussion and we've been like going through like course after course yeah. after course. I haven't even talked about Mario Kart. It's like no. this is Game Grumps. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you saw the stream with Relative Depression, uh, we were playing. Lu- I was playing Luigi's Mansion and we were talking about everything but Luigi's Mansion. Yeah. I feel yeah, like that's you were how it goes. About, like, everything. And... Jeez. What is this? A fake Bowser? Why does Bowser have like fake. A statue of himself? No, I, I understand why Bowser has a statue of himself, but he has like a fake statue that, I don't, well, all statues He enters are into fake. his mouth of Bowser Vore. No, but like he has like mechanical versions of himself. That was a really cool stage in uh, Mario Kart 8, where it was like just the giant like statue Bowser that like punches you. That was really cool. You remember that one? Yeah, that's a pretty cool one. This is the thing is that the longer Mario Kart goes on, the more the stages become like a Disney ride that's more yeah, interactive. Yeah, like insane. Yeah. I mean, I don't hate that. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Uh, Just as long as they don't go too crazy and they still allow us to like race. Welcome to the Mario Kart uh, Bowser's Automation. Castle Tour. Uh-oh, here comes Bowser. Oh, we better shoot the shell at him. And then they take like a fake yeah, shell. Yeah, not like that. It. Like still let us be Whoa. like, uh, treat it still like a racetrack. No, but it would be funny if it, it became like it's a like, Jungle It's like, go to Universal. Cruise. They should do that shit with Universal. They do. I mean, they have a, a ride where it's based on Mario like Kart, Mario... right? Yeah, and that's fine to have like an automated sequence. I don't think like they that. have it. Like, it's not like the Jungle Cruise, though. That would be kind of fun. They should do a Mario Cruise ship. I feel like you and me, Goodly, would yeah. have a good time on that because we're both man babies. Yeah, oh, I'd love it, yeah. It's like how somebody, uh, somebody from this uh, community recently, they went on like a starship, uh, a, a Star yeah, Trek that cruise. Yeah, that was film nerd. That was film, film nerd, nerd, yeah. I, that, that honestly does sound fun, though. It doesn't even sound... I think like we're in an era right now where literally everybody is a nerd for something or other. So it's kind of like, it's like you can't even make I'm fun of it I'm a big nerd anymore. for The Office. Well, we should go on a cruise that's themed after The I'm Office. I'm a nerd... I'm a no. It literally just takes us to an office building. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. We just get. <laughs> they yeah, we they just get like cafeteria us. food. We don't get any delicacies or nothing. We just go to like no. visit like Detroit or something. We have to do paperwork. They exploit us for unpaid labor and they call it a vacation. Yeah, that's a great vacation. Yeah, and you have to pay them to work for you. Mm. Great. That is because yeah. Luigi's Mansion is boring, says Relative Depression. Damn. I want to uh, kill that motherfucker. Been. The comments have been pretty good. Let me... Oh. DSP emotionally abuses his audience by lying to them and acting like their reasonable suggestions are stupid. I want him to become homeless. Well, that's... That's the Still lol... Still better than child molestation. Yeah, the, I'm, I'm just about to say star. That's the lol cow uh, watcher spirit. Special, I want, yeah, I want that the, man's life... I want that man's life ruined. He's mean and rude. I want to kill him. 
Oh boy. Yeah, see, that's like the A log type shit. Yeah. That I don't like. And that I get I, it. I like, think, like Dark Side Phil. I think people these days are too thirsty for blood. Dark Side Phil is absolutely manipulative, is the thing. But like, do the do the viewers really fall for that shit though? Do they really like? I don't know. Yeah, no, they don't because they all know about Phil and what he does. They all know about what him. he stands for. Yeah. Goodly, you can't like, even kill yeah. bugs. Goodly, me and you are like peacemaker and vigilante, but if they fucked. I don't think that's true. I don't that's think that's funny. quite right. That's yeah. mega funny, dude. Mm -hmm. Joey is a very that's funny that's, dude. Yep, it's the last one of all cup. Oh, no. I think after this race, I think we'll finish. Okay. You'll do a big finish on my on my chest. Yeah, when I win it, I'm going to use this trophy to win it all over Goodly's face. Oh, no. My man chowder. Oh no, your man child chowder. Man child. I recommend he doesn't get the cl the clam chowder. That was really fucked up. Do you remember that part in uh in Fight Club where they show all of the Look at the me, sh I'm good with draws, I bust nuts all over brain all over people's chests. Over I bust chest. bust nuts all over who you were about to you were about to Name a certain fucking person. No, I, no I said brains is a Freudian slip. I didn't actually mean. Yeah. That. Oh yeah. No. Brains. Yeah. No, I'm serious. I actually, I actually did. Uh, I, it's, I'm tired, dude. It's like eight at night or nine. A, a Freudian slip suggests, you know, that you were you, you wanted to nut on a certain individual. Well, it depends on how he looks. Uh, gay. I would I would nut on brains if he looked good. Okay. Anyway, yeah, Rainbow Road is pretty crazy. Yeah, Rain it's the place you go where you die, by the way. Yeah. I don't know. You Rainbow ever hear the Road. thing where like a, a pet will die and you'll you'll hear people say they cross the rainbow bridge to heaven? Yeah. I the thing is, the first time I heard that, it was like I was watching an archive the wolf video. And uh, one of one of the animal abusers that like abused their pets said that, and they they read it out in a creepy way. So now, whenever that was the first time I heard that expression, so like one time I I heard that, and then the second time I heard that, my sister said it for her hamster. It was like she crossed the rainbow bridge to heaven, and I was like, ugh, ooh, I had a bad ooh. taste in my <laughs> mouth. And out of context, it probably like yeah. made you sound like an asshole. Yeah, I was like, ooh, that. Mm. That didn't sit right with you. And then I was like, hamsters? Hey, that kind of reminds me of a guy I've heard of. He bought a couple of hamsters yeah, from uh, PetSmart. <laughs> yeah, and put them in a fucking microwave. Yeah, oh, that was a horrible... That guy looked like somebody that would do that. You know, there's some people, they don't have that look. Other people, they just have the look. Yeah, they just light. have that look in their eyes where there's yeah. just nothing quite... That There's something wrong. There's there. something wrong there, yeah. Like, just, they're clearly not all right in the head. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Could we have fungus growing on their feet? Yeah. There's a fungus among us. Oh, among I, us. Uh, I hate how, like, I feel, us. I feel like in other Mario Karts, you could absolutely do a trick where you fall off and then fall onto a different part of the track. But uh, this, the, 64, the, you do that. Yeah, the GameCube one isn't letting me. Why isn't it letting me? Uh, there is a way to do it. GameCube, like, shortcuts are, like, really hard to get down right until like a couple of years ago the double dash was like the last game to like be fully broken by like shortcuts like mm. unintentional shortcuts i Before am the trial. kangaroo court says joey t raccoon yeah and i to, to be fair though now joey i know he'll kill a motherfucker yeah joey would absolutely like he would joey has that look like in his i eyes. have no doubt in my heart yeah he knows my real name now there's no taking that back. Oh, that's very concerning. Yeah, it is. Well, you know, that's what I get for convincing him my you real name him. is Cornelius Cobbs. He oh, legit thought that for a couple... No, no, no. He he knows my real name now. Uh, but for a while, he legit... You told I, him your real name, but not me, though. No, I didn't tell him my real name. He found out because I think I have a video on my YouTube channel where uh, one of my old... like. I had a skit that now I you made. you say that. Now people are going to be, like, looking around, by the no, way. No, they're not. Well, who the fuck now cares? Now you say that. Like, everybody's going to be... Oh, no, I just think it's... It, you know, yeah. they're going to be, like... They're going to call you that in, like, chat or something. Oh, uh, yeah. Ugh. I don't like that. 
just to but, piss you off. They're not gonna do anything to you. They're literally yeah. just gonna say it to like piss you off. It's like calling somebody DD or something. Yeah. Or G or saying the or saying the the kill switch phrase Joey ride bike. Joey ride bike. You thought I you thought I forgot about that, didn't I? Fucking... down people. That's the thing. Joey told a, like a story about about that. I forget how Dark the story went. The wise. Oh yeah. Have you heard the tale of Joey ride bike? It's the not the story the Jedi could tell you. Not from a Jedi. Yeah. Chancellor, are you the Sith Lord? No, Anakin, no, no. No, I just use the dark side. It's cool though. Yeah. <laughs> it's the dark side, yeah. You know. Dude, I love I love those like uh those like deep fake like joke videos where they like where like Qui Gon like watches like the prequel trilogy. Oh he's yeah. just talking to each other on the couch. Mm. I remember like back when those AI memes were in their like infancy you had things like uh, Martin Luther King doing the Dark Plagueis speech. Those were good. Mm -hmm. Those were peak. Gilbert Gottfried uh, talking about the – what was it? The, the Your fucking clever little comment. Uh, I bet you didn't think your clever little comment would bring the storm down. Oh, it's the what – what the fuck did you just say to me, you piece of fucking shit? That Holy big topic shit, pasta. God. Are you sure you don't want to play one more round, or maybe one more race? It's just one more little race, yeah. One more little race. We kind of respect Goodly enough to not call him by his government name. Yeah, that's about right. Mari has a tiny ass arm there. Yeah, he does. Grand Prix. Do one one on one, one fifty. Yeah. Too bad there's no one hundred cc, or one two hundred cc. I'm my bad. I'm gonna get creamed. I'm gonna get creamed the rabbited. Oh, you took my fucking. Oh, my oh I didn't even fucking real. I'm sorry. Do you want me to fucking like? No, it's okay. No, 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 no. I, okay. I'll, I'll pick something else. I'm gonna be sexually confused reptile. Oh. And... She's not confused. She's a beautiful transgender woman. Mm-hmm, yes. That you made it weird. Yeah, that's right, I did. But now I get to virtue signal and one up you. For the brownie well, I points. Be free free. No, I want to be Yasi. I want to yeah. be in the gold cart because I'm a winner. Yoshi and Birdo, they're kinda like an unofficial couple, kinda like how Yeah, they're like say a them. couple, yeah. Yeah. They're Luigi. honestly probably the best couple. Oh see so you gotta press okay. Yeah. Hey. It's like how Luigi and Daisy are a couple, but the only evidence people have of that is like the one like Mario Kart Wii track where there's a big statue of them dancing together. No, wait, no, Yoshi's the sexually confused reptile. Yeah, exactly, yeah. What do you think it smells like when Yoshi poos out eggs? I'm just it's just a funny little comment. I always thought it smelled like just like maybe like general like viscera. Oh. Kinda like okay. how a new baby smells. Oh man, I was just quoting a copy pasta. You just went into that like, well, let me give you my genuine answer. I thought about it before. I've thought about like how those eggs must smell. I hope they smell like candy and jelly beans. I hope they I smell hope so like too. Easter eggs. That's yeah. the ideal world. Yeah. They I mean, smell they... nice. You know, the enemies are okay. They'll just come out of the egg once they're, like, shattered. Yeah. I mean, you know, if they if they have fireworks. They shoot fireworks out of them in, in some of the games. Did we desync again? I don't think so. Why? Because you're in the wall. I'm not. I, it doesn't look to me like I'm in the wall. Looks to me like that. Oh, maybe we did desync. What place are you well, in Well, it's right fine. Now? I'm in. I'm in first place. I'm in second. Oh wait, it looks like I'm in first place. See, I'm in first place. On see, you're just kind of driving around all weird. Here, well, let me I hit you with the Koopa show real quick. Oh, did you hit me? Oh, was no, that let the me Koopa show? Hit you. Was that the green? Okay. No, I haven't even fired it yet. No, never mind. I missed. Okay. You're over there. It looks like you've stopped. You're over here. I'm over. I'm right next to you. Can you see me? Can you see me? I'm right next. No, to you. I mean I see you on the bottom screen. You were just kind of wigging out. Look at I this. I mean the race is over. Oh, it is. What? No, it isn't. It's over for me. Oh yeah. Well, oh, laugh seven of seven. 
It looks like you're on lap like three of seven for me. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, I think we desynced again. Let me check. Fuck me. Yeah, there was a desync. Because I'm in first place. Oh, at least it happened at the end. All right, yeah. Re hit retry. Or are we going to get it? Oh, okay. Well, it's been real. It's been good. It's been nice. Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah. I mean, we can just shoot the shit. Yeah, Maybe okay. Oh, you want to keep going? Oh, you want to, like, on stream or, like, off stream? You want to keep going? Yeah, we can keep going on stream for a little bit. Okay. Oh, maybe I'll... Well, we, we should do something on stream, maybe... Um, Mushroom just says, I would like to smell them. Yeah, ooh. The eggs. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Yeah, no, that's a funny stream to watch. Make sure to stream that to me. Zing. Mirror. Wall. Here, let me just... get up and use the restroom real quick. Yeah, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Uh, play video game online. Only game that DDD doesn't appear in. Oh yeah, it is. All right, get ready for everybody to see the weird uh, advertisements beside it. Let me take a look here. All right, here you go. Done. This is a nice little ROM. Here you go. There's a nice little ROM here. And the ROM is loading. Oh, close. I'll close out of that. Paused. No, we're not going to have any music. Oh, this is going to be a delightful little game here. No files, and I'm going to start the game. One player. This is the first Kirby game that I ever played. Uh, if I'm being honest with you. And it was really weird to start here because this is like a Metroidvania kind of game where you just go wherever you want. Uh, and I was very, very confused when I played the other Kirby titles. I'm like, what do you mean you can't just go wherever you want? What do you mean there's stages? Like, everything seems so simple after this game because, like, th this is a game where you really get to just explore do, 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 do. Oh, no, I shouldn't be singing. I shouldn't be saying things like that. There's a little kissy man here. We're going to avoid the kissy man. Kirby and the Amazing Slur. More like Kirby. You know, I'd like for there to be a Mad TV-style parody where instead of Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, it's Kirby and the Amazing Atheist. That'd be pretty funny. Oh, made up fairy tales. Yeah, made up fairy tales. I I saw that magic mush video. I just saw the thumbnail. Very funny. The thing is, I I watched that guy when I was a little teenager. I I worshipped. I I suckled at his teeth. So when I saw that thumbnail, I was like, you know what? That's not. Teats. I'm like, man, that's not a magic mush video. I'm gonna watch. I'm not gonna watch that. I'll wait for the next one. Oh, boy. So I just saw a bunch of uh, glass shards come out of my Dr. Pepper bottle, <laughs> and they came into my eyes, and I screamed, but I assumed it was a glitch and kept going. Yeah. What is this, creepypasta? I saw Goodway Draws come out of the screen while I was watching one of his streams one night and grabbed me and say, you what the fuck are you looking at, you old motherfucker? Stop looking at me, pussy bitch. I just assumed it was a glitch. I mean, I usually say stuff like that off screen. I don't, I don't do it, you know, when I'm recording. It's a bad idea. I want to uh, appear virtuous, but actually be a terrible motherfucker in real life. Why would I say something like that to you? Oh, look! He he, sh he shattered the mirror into a million bajillion shards. Should I should I maybe uh make the screen a little bit closer to the like should I make it larger? Yeah, it probably needs to be a little closer, yeah. Yeah. A little closer. How about you come a little closer, you little baby boy little guy, huh? Come yeah, a little sure, closer. Let me whisper closer. your let me whisper sweet nothings. Sweet nothings. Into your little earlobe. Uh, ooh. I'm so sorry for Nagasaki. Oh, I apologize for oh. Hiroshima. Ooh. 
What are you tippity tapping on your keyboard? Yeah, I was tippity tapping. What are you looking up? Uh, you looking up the Kama Sutra? Different moves we can do together? No. Okay. It'd be a lot cooler if you were. All right. That's. I think that's checking good. my emails. Okay. I'm doing something much more mundane. Yeah, you're doing. I mean, that's. You got an email from me. Yeah, it's an email from you. Oh, now that I clicked out of a screen and went back in, now everything is super speeded up. It's super sped up. Or speeded up. I feel like I can't talk. Like, I'm trying to be a streamer, and yet I'll have these just giant brain farts in the middle of doing it. I got yeah, this. The, go... the stream speeded it up. Like, I'm a fucking Rugrats character. It speeded, it speeded up. It go fast, I it guess. It go no fasty. I don't know how to stop it, so it's just going to be like that now. Oh no, this is horrible. Yeah. Yeah, enjoy a nice sped up game of Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. They call it Kirby and the Sounds Amazing awesome. Mirror because uh, there was a version of this game that went backwards. And then yeah, it was the, the Need for it. Speed one, Joey. You got the reference. Yeah. Need There was a Need for Speed creepypasta. Yeah, Need for Speed had a creep. It was like Nuclear Winter. Yeah. Did we read that? Did you read that on the sock, the uh, famous sock stream? No, no, not yet. Oh. I, I'll maybe submit that because I know we will. Uh, shameless plug, by the way. Yeah. Wheel of Despair is coming back uh, yeah. this Friday. Oh, really? It is? Am I going to be on it? May I mean, if you want. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Is Lent no, over? No, you're not allowed on stream. How how long does Lent? Because I know Sock said he gave up Discord for Lent. For Lent. Yeah. What the fuck is Lent? Well, Lent is sort of a period between Easter and not, when you give up something <laughs> oh, that yeah, you really like. Yeah, I think well, that's when he starts. Yeah, I think yeah. this is when he starts. Because I mean, he's been streaming. It's a creative thing to give up because, like, most people, they just, like, give up junk food or something like that. But he's like, no, I'm going to give up, you know, being online too much. I don't celebrate Lent anymore because I'm a bitter atheist. I'm an enlightened, euphoric atheist who is just a slave to his passions. But, you know, if I was, that'd probably be a really heathenist, a good excuse. A heathen. A he no, not a heathenist, a hedonist because I'm hedonistic. Yeah, if I was doing that, I would probably uh, give up uh, internet shit. Probably healthy. That's kind of the cool thing about Lent is that it's it's an excuse to be more healthy and give up things that are bad for you. I once knew a guy where he gave up like he didn't give up video games. He gave up video games like with a certain type of gun in them. Not even just video games with guns in them in general. It's like I gave up video games. With AK-47s in them. There was a point when I still uh, celebrated Lent. Well, you know, you don't celebrate Lent. You suffer through Lent. But, you know, there was a point where I practiced Lent and I gave up. Uh, this was back when I was a kid. I gave up uh, shows with inappropriate language in it. And I was kind of like, yeah, because I would watch, like, you know, my parents didn't like it, but I would watch shows that were kind of, you know, a little bit raunchy. So I, I said, I'm going to give up shows with swears in them. And then I watched uh, Scooby-Doo on Cartoon Network, you know, the, the second Scooby-Doo movie. And I was really conflicted because uh, there was a part where Shaggy was like, repeat after me. We are totally not sucktacular. And I was like, oh, they said suck. They said this sucks. Should I be what? That's a swear. Can I be watching well, I this? And it's I, time. God's never going to forgive us. Yeah. And I asked my mom. I was like, mom. Scooby Doo said, "This sucks." Should I? You told this... on yourself. No, well, I did. Yeah, I did. Well, yeah, because I was like, "What are the? Is this outside the parameter?" Well, I decided the the thing on my own. I decided what I was going to give up for Lent, and I was like, "This is the thing." Is I absolutely do self snitch a little too much. I wasn't even familiar with the concept of self snitching. I was just like, "Oh yeah, that's being honest." It's like, no, honesty is for stupid people. You can't, you can't yeah. do that. 
there was a time when I looked up, uh, I was really young, and I looked up boobies on my mom's computer. And boobies. I, yeah, and then I got, I felt bad, and I told on myself that, that after that, too. I was like, Mom, I looked at boobs. You were a was, very guilty conscience. I, yeah, I, I am a very guilt-ridden person. You know, and that guilt is crushing. And then I grow up into a world where... People say I'm guilty. Yeah, it's funny I because... I have a guilty conscience. And then I feel bad. I, I feel, like, angry that I'm not going to feel guilty anymore. I'm never going to feel guilty again. And then I, I grow up into a, 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 a fucking culture where literally everything you do can now be chastised as if you're eight years old. If you say a bad word, if you're not fighting for a certain say cause that's in vogue, yeah, you have a bad opinion. You know, if you're even just too not – if you're even just, like – you can be nice, but if you're not nice enough, that you can get called. Or if out you're for not that. nice of like a version of a group that says yeah. is their definition of nice. Or if you're nice to the wrong person, it's like, well, now you're complicit. Now, yeah, you know, it's like now you're you're showing mercy, mercy's weakness. Yeah, yeah, you can't exactly. Can't be merciful. No, you can show mercy to the correct people, not the not the people we don't like. Kind of like what happened with Star, right? Like she says that it's like, hey, I want Phil to be homeless, yeah. but it's like I showed a little bit of mercy to yeah. Phil. Yeah, exactly. Because I don't have a fucking insatiable bloodlust for I all mean, cows. The definition of mercy is literally forgiving somebody who doesn't deserve to be forgiven. Because sometimes you're going to have to do that because odds are you've done something stupid and been forgiven by somebody else. Like, you know, an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. Yeah. I, I've been watching. Uh, I watched the Veggie Tales movie, the Pirates Who Don't Do Anything, and that's literally what it's all about. You know, this this the Bible story of Noah. Noah was forgiven because he disobeyed God, and he didn't want to go to the really scary city. And he got eaten by a whale. And when he was eaten by the whale, he was like, "Man, I kind of deserve this. I, I'm a piece of shit." And God's like, "Yes, you are. Do you want a second chance?" Yeah. He's like, "Yeah." And so he goes to the yeah. city, he goes to the city and, and God, like he delivers God's message, which is, hey, you know, you guys are like killing people and torturing them. You need to like cut that out. That's not really nice. And so he like sits by a hill, by a big mountain. And he's like, oh man, I can't wait for, I can't wait for God to smite this fucking city because they're not doing what he says. And uh, he gets mad because he's like, what the fuck? The, the city hasn't been smoting yet. God, what the fuck is wrong with you? And God is like, did you not fucking understand what I just did for you? I did it for you and I did it for them too. Because I do that for everyone because I'm God and I'm cool like that. And then he just started complaining about like there was a fig tree that he really liked. And God killed the fig tree. He was like, that was my only fucking fig tree. And that's where the Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away. The Lord taketh from. away. Yeah. It's like, it's not that big a deal, uh, Noah. Or who the fuck? What, who? Not Noah. It's Jonah. Whatever his stupid fucking name was. And then there were pirates. Also, there were pirates who didn't do anything in the Bible story of Jonah the whale. Yeah, it's like they're they're just cool pirates. Yeah. I wouldn't worry too much about them. Yeah. Where the pirates who don't do anything. It's like a big scary bodyguard, right? Yeah. It's like, you know, they don't do anything. Yeah. And then uh, Mushroom in the chat. I think Coolsville sucks. Yeah, I, yeah saw cool. I saw that and I was devastated. I was like, Mom, am I allowed to watch Scooby-Doo 2, The Night of the Ghouls? It was the live action movie where they get all the other, you know, they have all the, the fucking monsters. I'd let my kid watch a thing about ghouls. Yeah. And she was like, yeah, that's why it's hard. It's hard to differentiate because some shows have you know, raunchy shit in it, even though it's for kids. But I think you're being a little too, uh, you know, you're going overboard a little bit there. Goodly. Even she was like, hey, kids, stop snitching on yourself. Stop fucking, stop yeah, reporting to me. Have some self-preservation. Yeah. I'm like, no, that's not honest. I'm an honest guy. I'm honest about when people are fat. I'm honest about when I break the rules. I'm honest about when I don't like the look of somebody's fucking ugly face. You know, like Ben Shapiro. I'm kind of like Ben Shapiro. Let's call a spade a spade, people. Call a spade a spade. Yeah. 
it's that's the thing is that people won't tell me shit and then I'll be really like personally attacked. I'm like, why the fuck are you keeping me in the dark? And then the people that don't tell me shit are like, because you're going to tell people what I told you and I don't want you to do that. I'm like, well, yeah, I guess that's fair. Yeah. I think (laughs) relative depression, I think Coxville rules. I got to plug in my, hold on. I got to plug in uh, my phone. It's going to die. Coolsville. What about Cruelsville? What about Cruella Deville? What about Superville? Hmm. What about gay sex with men? Now that's okay. Hmm. Are you sure the Bible was pretty clear about that kind of thing? I don't know. I think they're. I think they're okay. I think I think it's okay. I think they're okay. To me, it's like the Jedi code, right? You can yeah. just kind of. It's interpretive. Yeah. Well, I don't think that's true. I think it's very rigid and strict because it's an organized religion, and uh, I, I re- well, it's, the... re- it's organized and strict if you want it to be, or if you follow the church. Yeah, that's now, the if thing... you're like me and just kind of read the text alone, you just interpret it differently. The thing is, I've been watching this one video that argues that the entire Star Wars universe is evil because the Jedi have to give up their humanity in order to, uh, uh, what was it? They have to I give think up... Cruelsville is mediocre. Damn, who said that? I think Cruelsville is mediocre. That, that motherfucker. Yeah. There's this entire like YouTube video where it goes over how like the Jedi need to basically follow their religion in order to not become a Sith. But in order to not become a Sith, they basically have to give up their humanity. So the, and the thing about the Sith is that the Sith will never get what they want either. They want power. They want to become a master, but they become a slave to their own power. Meanwhile, the Jedi want, right. And the Jedi want peace, but they will never find peace because they're a slave to the force and they need to constantly do what the Force tells them, which the Force tells them, you know, every 300 years or so, you need to fight this. You know, there's going to be like a Sith uprising, and you're going to need to to fight it, you know. And, and the only it, yeah. yeah, and the only way that you're going to bring balance to the Force is if, uh, you know, the, a, a giant empire uh, comes to power and kills millions, and then planets are destroyed by a big laser. But eventually, but they're trying one... to prevent that. Well, to be fair though, the four, to be fair though, the Jedi were trying to prevent that version of events. They were trying to prevent that version of events, but maybe that was the only way that outcome could have could have happened. Basically, the 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 video I watched uh, kind of proposed that like most people say, oh well, the Jedi are actually completely full of shit. They're not. Uh, they're being too rigid. They're being too strict. But the the dude in the video argues that no. Yes, to us, they're being too rigid, but actually, in, in the actual universe, that's the only way they can be. And it, the reason why they're being too strict is because there is absolutely no See, way See, I'm to... one of those people that's a big fan of, like, uh, Grey Jedi, where they're yeah. kind of in between. Well, that's like, the thing they is... they can have emotion, but they don't let the emotions rule them right. like the Sith do. The thing is that the, there are a lot of people that think bring balance to the Force means they need to bring balance to the dark side and the light side. But that's actually full of shit. Because apparently the yeah, dark you side... you need to have both the light and the dark existing at once, or none well, at all. Well, that's the thing, is you're thinking about balance in like a, I don't know, like a Taoist kind of way, in like a Buddhist way. But the way George Lucas set it up is that like there is no dark side, there's just the light side. But when uh, the Sith use the the Force to like change the universe, like they're essentially uh... yeah. But George Lucas also sold Star Wars to Disney. Yeah. So... Yeah, but Disney made it even worse. So what we have to go by is yeah. Disney made it. No, no, no. I like the stuff that George Lucas did. I'm just saying yeah. it's like he was too much of a pussy to be able to handle all the criticism, so he sold it to Star no. Wars just to piss people off. I have nothing but sympathy for George Lucas and the fact that. 
okay, you could say he's too much of a pussy to handle the criticism. Uh, considering the kind of even if I disagree with a lot of the criticism, the, the here's the thing though, like the type of filmmakers, the type of fucking directors we have now. George Lucas is a fucking saint, and he took it on the chin like a champ yeah. compared to Mother. Oh yeah, no, like, yeah, he's a it, fucking saint. He didn't go on Twitter and argue about no. it. He didn't go no. on forums and be like, "Well, no, no, no." Yeah, you're just no, a hater. No, no, you, it's not like that. It's like no, there. No. He was very much like, "Okay, I yeah. just won't say anything." I won't say anything. Yeah. Oh, well, you don't like that? Okay. Well, I'm just making little movies for myself now. Just little tiny movies, you know. Yeah, he's making it for himself, and honestly, I think he made some yeah. really good movies. I think the prequels are genuinely very good. Yeah. I don't even mind the special editions yeah. like that. George is a cool guy. Um, the thing with George Star Wars, sometimes though... sometimes a cool guy. Yeah. The thing with Star Wars, though, is that the whole point of Star Wars is that you need to love everybody, like, is George's whole thing. Like, he basically took every single religion and boiled it down into its basic components, which is you need to give up everything and love everyone. The problem is that you need to love everybody the same way that a mom loves their child. You can't have preferences. You can't have, you can't even have friends. And that way of thinking is completely fucking impossible because how can you yeah, that's love boneheaded. Yeah, how can you love complete fucking strangers the way you love your children or the way you love a loved one? How can you love yeah, somebody you, you can... don't even know about yet is the thing. Yeah, now now hating everybody is not a good way to yeah. live life either. You've got to yeah. live in balance. You've yeah. got to be like – you don't have to love – like you don't have to put your life down the line for just any random stranger. But you no. know, you no, treat I them mean... with respect. You treat it – it's just called treating people with respect. That's not – I'm a, not even saying like, that. I'm saying like, like... – it would be cool. No, if you no, put I know what you're saying. I'm just saying. No, yeah, that'd be cool. But I'm saying, like, you know, expecting people to be like that all the time, and that's considered the light side is fucking insane. And George is fucking insane for thinking that. No, but what? What? Yeah, and that's the thing is what I'm saying is you could be the most heroic person ever, but it, the moment you start gaining like a preference for people and you start feeling bad, like, oh man, this person died. I'm so sad that they died. That's when you you would immediately become – well, not immediately, but that would corrupt you and turn you to the dark side where you would just become a power lich who was trapped in a cycle of, of gaining power for its own sake and, and no other sake. And in that way, Star Wars is, is a, a hell universe that you would not want to live in. Yeah. Or at least you wouldn't want to be a Jedi. But even if you weren't a Jedi, then the balance of, of like the fate of everything. Well, you wouldn't want to be a Jedi that follows the code. You wouldn't want to be one of those people. No, but that's what I'm saying is that the code is actually the only way. Like that's what this guy argued anyway, is that no, it's not that the Jedi well, were to me wrong. it's like Qui Gon Jinn, I think, is like a true Jedi because it's like he, he you know, he doesn't rigidly follow the code. He no. understands like Right, and like that he caused that people need to have emotion. Right, but then that caused the death of millions of people, the destruction of an that entire planet. That that indirectly, that indirectly, no, that was Anakin. Right, that and Anakin he decided and to... to, no, literally, Qui Gon died too soon. He died in yeah. a battle with the Sith. Yeah, like there was just nothing you could do about that. That's not. That's not. Qui-Gon's fault that the Empire happened. It's just that's how things happened. I don't usually like uh, blaming people in that way, but I'm just saying, like, he was wrong. He was like, oh, we need to train this child, and then they trained the child, and uh, things went horrible. But they did it with their rigid code. Right. Qui-Gon would have allowed Anakin to have some breathing room, Okay. and that would have been a lot better for him. But what does that matter if he's dead? And he was hoping that Obi-Wan, the person he trained, would not be as rigid to the code. Hmm. Obi-Wan was way too rigid. And well, I don't even... caused Anakin to turn to the dark side. Obi-Wan was like an absent fucking father. He just didn't care. He, he would get angry at Anakin all the goddamn time. No, he cared. It's just he didn't understand. I mean, he's like a lot of fathers. Well, I mean, it's the whole thing know. of like... Yeah, it's like fucking Lilo and Stitch where the sister is meant to care for the child like a mother but she's just a big sister uh obi-wan was basically just like a big brother to anakin yeah he literally said i was your brother anakin yeah well he wasn't supposed to be he was supposed to be his bitchless father. discussions are being had tonight bitchless discussions who said that mushroom 
mushroom, mm-hmm. walk the plank, go to the brig. To the fucking brig. The Bitchless fucking discussions. Brig. You're the one watching a fucking Mario Kart double dash stream, man. You're a fucking oh, loser, now Kirby. dude. You're a loser. No, he clicked on it. He saw the, uh, you saw the, you know, uh, fucking notification. Goodly Draws is playing double dash. And he said, oh, I love GameCube games from when I was a child. I'm going to I'm going to watch that and have a fun time. You fucking lo- you're a loser. You're a loser. You baby want a bottle? A big dirt bottle? God damn. Baby, baby want a bottle? Baby. A big dirt Ooh. bottle? Why are you yelling at me? Well, that all used that always used to make me feel better. Oh, what's he saying now? What's that rascally little... He's saying, whoa, he's laughing. He's, he's laughing, laughing at, at you, Goodly. Are you going to stand for that? You're laughing at my pain. You, me, deathmatch, rage in the cage. Rage in the cage. Yeah. A rage in the big gay cage. We're going to oil each other up. One man enters, two man leaves. One Two men. Yeah. It's a pregnant, yeah. What are you uh, trying to apply male pregnancy? Yeah, I am. Because me and Mushroom, uh, you know, we did the deed, and then I go into a cage and give birth to Goodly Jr. That's kind of a sick thing I just, that's kind of an awful thing I just implied. Very Not even implied, just said, just laid out in plain English. I ought to go to hell. I ought to, I ought to be thrown into the fiery pits of hell. Are you there? Hell. Yeah, I'm still here. You sounded horrified when you said hell. You like, hell. 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 Go to hell. You go to hell before you die. Run for it, Luigi! You go to hell before you die! Yeah. You can't wake up in hell. You can't wake up dead. But what if I did wake up dead? Well, well then you wouldn't be dead. If you were dead, you wouldn't wake up. If we're dead, you wouldn't wake up. No. Oh. Why are you whispering sensually? Why are you whispering so sensually into my ears? No, I was just, I was just talking to myself more. So. Again, I'm a little tired. No. Oh, yeah. It just sounded like disbelief. I was like, what the fuck did he even just say to me? What is what is a relative depression? Goodly Jr. raised up Pop-Tarts and video games for 20 years ago. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. His first console... Nintendo 64, GameCube. I still can't get over My the fact. My first console was a Super Nintendo. Yeah. Because these things, this is the thing, is like these things don't feel like old games to me. They just, they still feel contemporary. It's so fucking weird. Be, getting old is so strange. Yeah, it is a. I mean, to be fair, though, like 360 and PS3 games still feel fairly new to me. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, yeah, that's the, the newer console. That's the next-gen console. Oh, fuck me. Even though it's, like, as old as, like, the Super Nintendo was when I was a child. Yeah. I was watching an episode of South Park, and it was about, uh... I, I don't know what the fuck current event it was like. Uh, I don't know. There was some... There was a big to-do about uh, Vladimir Putin. And, uh... So, Mr. Mackey was drilling people, preparing for another Cold War. But what he was actually doing is he was just, like, watching a bunch of 80s movies and listening to 80s songs and shit. And then uh, then his mom was like, are you just upset that you're getting old and you want to relive the old days? And it hit me, man. It, it fucking hit me in a way. I was like, man, I didn't sign up for this shit, South Park. Don't, don't talk to me about things that are relative to my life. Yeah, don't. Don't you ever Stop. do that to me again. Cease. What are you, like some kind of social commentary show or something? Don't don't touch my heart like that. Stay away from my heart. If I wanted to feel emotions, I would watch Futurama. I would watch the handful of really sad dog ending. Episode. Yeah, I'd watch the dog episode. I'd watch Lisa's parents. Not Lisa's parents. Leela's parents. I'd watch the one where like Fry goes into his parents' dreams. Yeah. 
the one where uh, Bender has to deal with his own mortality. Yeah, the one where he, like it's like godhood. Yeah. And, oh, like, the god they all nuke each other, and then he's alone in the universe yeah. again. No, that one's not sad, but I I do look back to it's that. It's funny, though. but it's kind of like oddly haunting. Yeah, I don't think it's haunting. I think it's very uplifting. Is the thing. Like that well, part. Bender becomes God to like a civilization? Yeah, at the, well, you know, he fucks up at the end, but then there's that like version of the character that might be God, and he says, like, that's it. There's a very profound statement in it where he's like, if you do your job right, people will wonder if you've done anything at all. Oh. And, and that sticks with me. Oh, it's, yeah, I remember. It's kind of true. It's kind of fucking true. Like, if you really want to help people, you have to make them question if you even did anything, you know? Or maybe maybe it's more like, uh, to make it look easy is very hard. To make anything look easy, you have to, you know, perform a lot of hard work. I feel like it's more like about, like, subtlety. Sometimes it's not even about what you do, it's about what you don't do. And even then, you've got to do just enough. Well, I feel like I'm repeating what he said, but making it dumber every time, but... No, it's a really good quote. I don't know, I get it. It's a really profound quote. There are so many people that try to, like, help. You know, they, they want the world to be a better place, but then they just do these ham-fisted things that don't work out and make them look like jackasses. And it's like, yeah, no, Fry you would can't... be considered, like, a cunt, 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 cunt simp nowadays, yeah. Uh, I guess, kind of. No. Although, no. not in my mind, not in my mind. No. Fry was a very drippy young man. F- Futurama's plot with Fry and Leela has aged a lot. Fry would be oh oh okay yeah you're reading what the what relative depression said yeah that's how you know you're old is that like you watch things on TV and you don't give it a second thought you're like oh this episode's about whatever. And then a bunch of young people come and tell me the things I grew up on were wrong. Yeah, it's like, what the and fuck? didn't age well. It's like how... And you're, fuck you, relative. Yeah, it's like the Spongebob episodes where he's making... The, like the squirrel joke episode, where the ending is No, about, that episode's aged well. That episode's aged well, but now I get to see a bunch of thumbnails of, like, video essays being like, the White racist... essays, yeah. The, the racist episode, question mark? Most racist episode of Spongebob, and I'm like, I don't... The thing is, if I... It's favorite episode. It's probably clickbait is the thing, and if I watch it, they're probably going to come to the same conclusion I did, but... Just the fact that... it's very good and very actually forward-thinking of them to actually, like, tackle the subject in a, like, a tasteful manner. But it's not... I I think it's not necessarily progressive, though, because what this, this episode is proposing is it's not that you stop telling racist jokes is that you tell racist jokes about every race and make sure that it's even, which some people would say is not a good thing is, and is actually impossible because of like, you know, historical, uh, you know, inconsistency. What do you call it? Like the, the playing field isn't even history hasn't been fair, but you know, I, I agree with the, the message. I agree with the SpongeBob message. Yeah. I think they also called the one episode where it was like uh, Sandy talked about all the things that like land critters could do and she got made fun of uh, because all the sea critters were like, oh yeah, but can you reproduce by budding? That was the only time SpongeBob did that. Yeah. Remember that bit? Can you reproduce by budding? Can you? Can you? Can you? And you get a little buds. I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. I didn't know what budding was. I thought he was saying butting. Yeah, it's producing asexually. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, is if he... I feel like they had that in the script. Can you reproduce asexually? And then, you know, the the executives were like, if you say that, people are going to go ape shit if you use the word asexually. Actually, no, maybe they wouldn't because that wasn't even really a, a thing people understood. That was back like then. a that was kind of seen more as like a like a scientific term. It was a scientific term, and then people were like, "Oh yeah, people can do that too." Because uh, I used to think asexual was just people that don't like sex, but apparently it's much more than that. Like you aren't attracted to anybody, but you still get aroused. 
But it's like when you're like a uh, when you're 12 years old and you just get boners randomly for no reason. That sounds like a fate worse than death. I, I'm, I, you know, my my hats off to people who have to deal with it. Because I thought that asexual would be being asexual would be great because you're not distracted by sex. You can focus your mind on other topics. But no, it sounds like even worse. Like you're not even you don't even have a person to connect that to. You're just like, oh, I'm horny again. I don't know why. I guess I got to take care of this. And I'm probably grossly, I'm probably grossly uh, exaggerating. But, you know, from my perspective, you know, it doesn't seem that great to have to deal with. We're going to get so many angry letters. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of fucking angry letters. Yeah. All I did was a good talk moral of... would be a Ooh. good moral would be it's okay to make racist jokes if they're funny. Yeah. That's a good yeah, that's the kind of that's the kind of story that like sad Godzuki would write. It's like, no, if they're funny, it's okay. But if it's not funny, you get the shit beat out of you. It's not a great thing, but that's how it goes in the real world. I think we'll probably find a save point and I think we'll end it off. Yeah. You're feeling good. You're feeling cool. Man. I don't think I'm doing very good in this game. I don't know. I'm, I'm not... Oh, you're going at, like, double speed? Yeah, and I'm also using keyboard controls. That's the thing, is I could fix this. I could find a way to fix this and, like, restart it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to play through. You know, as they say in golf, play it where it lies. I mean, the fact that you've gotten this far at double speed says yeah. a lot about Kirby. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to give me a, like a compliment. Oh, well, if you got that far on double. Oh. Oh. But yes, Kirby is very easy. Oh, shit. That's the thing is, I think if you die on Kirby, it's doubly embarrassing. That like, oh, man. I, I mean, I, unless you like fuck up. Yeah. Or, like, playing too recklessly. Yeah, I play pretty recklessly. I mean, you saw, there was that stream we did uh, where I couldn't even beat Chill Penguin, so. I mean, that's a little more understandable. I mean, Mega Man's typically on a, yeah. the higher end of the difficulty ladder. My, my friend was giving me shit about that. I think he was like, you didn't even fucking beat Chill Penguin's the easiest boss. I'm like, lay, me, lay it off. Lay me, that's not a fucking word. Cut me some slack. And I'm like, if the, if the guy that does no damage runs, minimalist runs on YouTube yeah. like me is telling you, you did okay. Yeah. Then you did okay. I don't think we're like a gonna... literal first guy. I don't think we're going back to that game. Ah, uh, one day. Yeah, one I day. Think we should. Yeah, like five years later, it's like, we're finally going to do it. I'm finally going to beat Chill Penguin. Yeah, I have a controller. Hey, do you have my save file? Do you have the save state for where we were at, Kuko? I mean, oh, what's I mean, that? Yeah, I could just type in the password. Oh, what's that, Kuko? You're it's dead? Because it's been five years. I know I'm 80 years old. Oh. Yeah, and I've already withered away by this point. Mm -hmm. Relative depression be like, he did terrible. Oh, I think depression, yeah, I, I, I thought it was, yeah, depression was the guy. It was like, you couldn't even beat your thing. I'm like, you shut your filthy little, shut your filthy little mouth. Shut that little trap of yours before I shut it for you. And I put a little finger in his mouth. Man, I'm not I'm not really on it today. I'm not on my game. I just keep reverting to gay sex jokes. I mean it's a little less chaotic. Yeah. I wouldn't watch this shit. Would you watch this shit? I mean, I would watch it, maybe. That's the thing, is I, I feel like more people watch when it's chaotic, and I do want it to be chaotic, but then I can't handle it being chaotic. I'm like, everybody just shut well, up! Everybody just time. shut the I think fuck once, up! I think once in a while we should have a calm stream like this. Yeah. That's not just completely off the fucking wall. Because gotta... if the, because it starts to lose its impact a little bit if it's always off the fucking wall. I guess so, yeah. But we gotta give the people what they want. We gotta keep the people entertained. It's about entertainment. Well, you can have, like, safe content for a couple of streams and then do something risky. Okay. For one of them. 
this was pretty risky. I mean, I don't think this is the thing is I don't think uh, this is particularly interesting, but the fact that we did get multiplayer working at all yeah. is like, oh, we know how to do that now. I mean, I say we as if you didn't do most of that, but we got it working. I mean, you had to download the dolphin, and the fact that you didn't get a virus on your computer somehow yeah. is I don't really, an accomplishment. I don't really get viruses on my computer until it's too late. Yeah. I get those viruses when... Carbon. Oh, yeah. I get one of those viruses where it's like... Uh, the computer will get a virus, but then the virus will be like, hey, you have a virus. Download this program, and then we'll get rid of the virus for you. One of those. Is there a word for oh. that? That's called uh, just malware. That's just yeah. oh, shit, the return of antivirus, but it's just – it turns out to be malware itself. It'll be like yeah. there's 5,000 problems wrong on your PC. Yeah. You see that in a lot of porn sites. You know, I don't know if I should be talking about the, this, but like you'll go on some places and I'll I'll get on my fucking iPhone like uh, just a, an overriding screen oh, that says you have a million yeah. bajillion viruses. And I'm like, iPhones. Don't it's get like, fucking. no, you don't. Yeah, no, I don't. iPhones don't get fucking viruses, you dumbass. Now stop blocking the porn. I mean, stop blocking the porn that I'm trying to look at. You fucking jackass. No, I would never do that. That's sick. Oh, okay. Okay, I was about to say, I'm like, you sick fuck. I'm just saying, you know, my father will call me in when he's watching porn, and he'll mm -hmm. be like, son, I got a virus, and I go, oh, that's not real, dad. You, oh, dad. You just oh, keep on... Yeah. You know, it's like the opposite of, like, that Joel story where it's like, you know, he had to ask his dad to, like, get a desktop chirper off his yeah. thing, but it's here, it's like he's asking the son. Like, the dad's gonna be the one that's, like, humiliated. Yeah. That sounds like your dad. That yeah, sounds like day. something your father would do or say. One day, Joel, I'll come up on your stream while you're streaming, and I'll tell everybody... And tell which... everybody what a pissed child you are. Yeah. I can't believe that man was raised by Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog here. Hello, I'm Kermit the Frog, and I want the Kermit the Frog t-shirt. So you want to call it here? Yeah, I think it's time to right. call it here. You know, keep the stream a little shorter. Yeah. We don't need a five-hour stream all the time. No, no, no. It makes me feel productive, though. It is kind of a fun thing to be like, oh, I'm streaming tonight. It's content. A little sloppy. It makes it a little easier to, like, it'll make a lot of people that watch the VODs, like, a little bit more willing to watch. Oh, yeah, instead it's of just like... seeing five hours of bullshit. Five hours. It's of... like it's say it's like three hours of bullshit. Yeah. That reminds me of how construction workers will show each other porn on the job. Really? That yeah, is very strange. That. that is. I mean, to la like actual. Are they doing yeah, it like cause... actual? To laugh at it, or just like to be like, hey, look at this. Hey, check this out later when you're at home. Like what? It's amazing that the straightest people, the most homophobic people, I'm not saying construction workers are homophobic, but like the most manly jobs are also the gayest somehow. I, I don't know how that works. Yeah, they're a bit. Yeah, they're a bit out there. Yeah. Well, anyway, for those who uh, who showed up, I appreciate you a lot. Um, 